Me lo maquea todo. Lo ve nomás nada. Transform 2. For swap 100 gold. Um, yeah, my opinion of transform 2 and defect is going down and down and down and down, yeah. Hello, retreat, retreat. Yeah, every time I pick this, I feel a little bit worse about it. Because, um... The character is already strong enough in Act 1, kind of. So, immediate boost is not, um... It's like making your base deck slightly stronger... It's not actually helping you get uh, extra value compared to just another spend on your bonus. Long-term value transform to... Generally, is not that high. Because Defect also has a lot of that early game um, that forced you to take like random garbage. And then everything sucks. Of course sometimes you high roll, yeah? Sometimes you transform two, you transform into uh, <laughs> like I don't know, a self repair, glacier, whatever, and then first floor echo form and then everything is good. Other times you transform into some garbage, so I don't know, like storm uh, Creative AI, <laughs> Thunder Strike or whatever, and then everything sucks. Hello, shoot, shoot, shoot. Hello, Starlet. Not quite go, okay. Um, 100 go on this map is not super good though, unless we can fight floor 6 elite. So it forced me into this kind of path, like floor 2 shop into 2 fights only, floor 6 elite, and then fire here, another question mark, this is your easy hallway though, and then elite, fire, advanced hallway, elite. Total number of fights is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 fights in the act, on shop. Uh, shop is 215 gold, and only 2 card rewards, so it's a little bit difficult to prepare if the card that drops here is not exactly uh, either very good damage card or frost off. So right, the most, um, actually the most likely path is probably to this like one. Or we do some way like this, three fights, and then if you are strong enough, we do this elite anyway. But going through this shop with 100 gold start is not um, exactly it. And yes, I do not like transform 2 anymore. <laughs> so uh, is this swapping or what? If I swap, I do get to do this shop here. Yeah, probably the path would be here, huh? starting here to go here. If we want to have an option to go here, we can still take two fights. If we need the early shop, we can still go here and take two fights before shop. Or we take question mark into fight into shop. Uh, otherwise, super question mark here is a little bit too much. But the first elite is like, very late. Uh, advanced always you can go to shop to prepare if the swap is bad. Hello, Gaudi. Hello, not that guy. Uh, yeah, 100 go into here most likely only gets us 2 elites. Unless we can do this for 6 safely. Um, swapping does say that we need to fight 2 or 3 before the shop, but that's not a huge problem. If we low roll a 10% here into a fight, I wouldn't call it that even low roll, but if we roll 10% into a fight here, we can still just do this way and avoid the advance away before shop. So we need to roll 1% yeah, in order for this to go bad. So it needs to be a boss swap that rolls 1% to double fight here. That is also rolling a bad advanced hallway fight. And the curry rewards are not good. Yeah, I don't play around that. You earn value and some from the effect, maybe the swap. This map is playable for swap. And I did talk about it like briefly. Um, this thing has gone down for me like every single time I pick it. My evaluation of this new bonus uh, on defect specifically yeah, has gone down every single time. It just goes lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. And now I don't even think it's that good. Like if the swap is playable, maybe I just swap over this because the max HP actually is also relevant on defect specifically. And the transform to on floor zero is um, not as good. Just because of how strong this character is in Act 1 already without swapping. 
Like in fact, am I even take Chonsoft 1 over this Max XP Chonsoft 2? Yeah, that sounds like pretty dumb, but could be. <laughs> because I do not want to, I do not transform 2 strikes, but transforming uh, on strike and defend is actually giving you a pretty annoying chance of um, getting on in even, even the easy hallway fights and there's no balls into the rest of the act. And you get what? One extra transform. Even though defense complete garbage later, yeah? It is still powerful in Act 1, the same as this. And uh, maybe just snowball into one upgrade, could snowball into one more elite. In this bad, probably not one elite, but at least maybe one upgrade and maybe minus one card pick. And OVM then with the red, Glacier Defract? Nah, I don't want Glacier Defract. I want uh, Glacier Self Repair. The <laughs> Infinite Strike, very nice. Boom house. Oh, you want defract? Here's your defract. And yes, I picked defract over co-headed. Um, this actually makes the shop here more appealing. Yeah? Um, and if we can still do this, we can. Uh, we we can still do this elite. We can still try to. Um, that way I cannot get the value out of my gold, though. But I can get value on my regen pot. And so, yeah, yeah, there are a lot of that's as well. That's the thing. Like, that's why I'm not, I'm not saying just out of theory, yeah? It's the, um, the reason I'm doing this is because I also observed that uh, Transform 2 in Act 1 have gone so badly. And then I suddenly start to think because uh, in my mind before the Transform 2 start is pretty strong. But then every single time I take it, I kind of get on, you know? <laughs> not that I lose every time, yeah? But uh, it just feels freaking miserable. And the winner is actually not that high. So then I think yeah, maybe I'm overrating this a little bit. Which is... Uh, and you don't even need to roll that low. Yeah? You can roll the average one brick and one normal and that already is bad enough. Uh, of course, and whenever you high roll, like, it's amazing. But again, max HP plays. And here's the difference. Uh, we get plus 5. Yeah? The Chonsum 2 is losing... Uh, minus 7, so the difference is already plus 12. And Tiny House is not even a good squad. <laughs> the Tiny House is not even a good squad. And the difference is already plus 12. We have a defrag in our deck now, and now we don't have frag calls. So yes, Act 1 is slightly annoy more annoying, but uh, at the end of the day, our boss really quality improves. So how bad is that? Yeah, compare this. You know, this is already a, one of the best squads. Compare this to the lose max HP for Chonsom 2. It's not actually worse, no? And if Tiny House is uh, comparable to the other thing, then why is the other thing like good at all? <laughs> so, what do we do? Like, do we believe in this ever? Because I kind of want to just upgrade my Defrag in peace, you know? If I don't believe in this ever, then I shouldn't even start here. I should start here. <laughs> The only reason to start here is that to open maybe a chance to go to shop to use the skull, but I don't want to. Because the frag is also not exactly on the three cards we won before. If we only have three cards before this, I don't want the frag to be on them. At least the frag minus. Not before we see actually have a frost off. Let's just start here instead, yeah? If we uh, high roll somehow, we can maybe still do this. If this is not a fight, we also go here anyway. So maybe we high roll enough to go here and we just save for like a 400 go shop in Act 2 or something. And then our actual show is going to be amazing. Otherwise, we can still go here with mm, 190. Uh, playing this defrag is kind of numb. It's less damage than the strike plus for sure. Ah, yeah? uh, this has to be strike plus. If we just strike minus, and we are chilling. <laughs> it's strike minus, and just play the defrag. Because the defrag here gives me probably 3 damage, but it also exhausts. But this is fucking 9 damage. Oh, 9 damage is so much. Should probably just play the strike. One brick later could cost me 5 or so, but we do have regen port. The part is somewhat safe. Yeah, playing this right now is preventing, could be preventing like the super disastrous case. Yeah, nice defrag. I have not even drawn Zap. But now if I draw defrag, yes, I can get on. 
And Sochi is not lethal, so yes, we're taking damage a lot. <laughs> taking a lot of damage. <laughs> but it's okay, because the pilot is somewhat safe. And that's why I say yeah, this is probably not happening. Uh, yeah, let's get real here. This is probably not happening. <laughs> Hello, Wagner, then we will up. Oh, yeah, if we have the crack core still, this thing is dead, yeah? Um, because we gain what? Plus 6? Um, yeah, plus 6 is only dead. We actually gain plus uh, 7. No, no, plus 6. We haven't played defract yet. So, yeah, we gain plus 6, and this is exactly. Actually, no, no, then we lose minus 6 as well because we don't have strike plus. Ah. Ah. Ah, we would still be short. <laughs> well, so actually, you get on here no matter what. Hmm. Fun. Ah, uh, we get on no matter what, then I guess we get on. This potion is not for here, yeah? Because we need to end this fight in like two or three turns. Ow! And Zhao Wu is really good. Frag sucks. And go next spot. Oh yeah, I still don't know. Oh, I, I really should know should know this by now, but I still don't. You wake up in the morning, holy moly! Man, now I'm worried because uh, apparently Pandem doesn't want me to wake up at all. <laughs> well, that is scary. Was Grubby? No. I mean, I know who Grubby is, but um, I don't really watch him. But yeah, I do not know. That, that's the thing, right? I should know this by now, but I don't. And the last time I saw to Tiny House, I also talked about this. <laughs> what the hell is my potion chance currently? Because does the tiny house give me a potion chance um, change on floor zero or not? I still don't know. <laughs> if somebody can tell me, uh, that would be nice. <laughs> because I, uh, in order to actually understand this, either I need to read the code or I need to actually install the info mod uh, just for this one thing. Which is kind of annoying. Analysis, yeah, impossible because you can try all you want. First of all, you only have sample size in Act 1, and then the... With the sample size in Act 1, yeah, the same, your sample size is like 9 of 10 fights. Uh, whatever result you get is not conclusive. <laughs> yeah, you can try whatever, it's just not conclusive. You can try over like even 10 different runs, it's still not conclusive. So you need to track like even further than that. In order to determine whether it's like 30, 40, or 50. Uh, also here we get a complete garbage card reward, so that's nice. Very cool. Here potion on what I've been... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That can work too. Somewhat unlikely to happen to observe still, but yeah. Maybe that over 10 runs could, uh, could be seen. Oh yeah, this is complete garbage, yeah? If anything, uh, do we pick read and recycle turbo or whatever? With boss swap, probably not, right? Especially after taking so much damage on first floor, I do not pick uh, one of these greedy things, yeah? So we skip. Point chance right now, we are unknown. I would just assume that's 40. I, I would just assume Tiny House doesn't change anything and we still start at... Uh... Tiny House swap does not change position, yeah, yeah. That's what I assume because I don't think Bell Swap changes your percent potion percentage either. It does change your rare card chance, of course. But your potion chance stays the same. So my initial assumption is that it's just like 40% regardless. Oh yeah, good to know, thank you. So now it's like 30. Wait, did I just talk about the tongs recently? Is that you just click this? I want to buy a relic though, guys. <laughs> I don't want to remove it. I want to buy a relic. 
Yeah, didn't I just talk about this the other day? You just click this deck one, and then it, uh, <laughs> and then it saves your HP. <laughs> Um, also, the nice thing is that it solves this fight immediately. Yeah? Not that we care about that fight too much, but it does solve it immediately. Sounds good. Uh, okay, so what is this now? Do we... Because we cannot buy a relic here at all anymore, yeah? Unless uh, the relic is super good and we accept to play with the pen. Uh, if we go this way. So, what about going this way? In order to remove... Because uh, they remove, there are a lot of remove events in that one, and we no longer get shrine garbage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there are a lot of remove events. So we go here, remove the curse for free, and now we can still buy a relic. Wow, that's great. <laughs> uh, otherwise, we go here and get another empty node. But even if empty node is here, we still don't see advanced hallway here. Yeah? So it's like not the worst thing. Because otherwise, we take this fight, and this is advanced hallway. Then, uh, yeah, sometimes we low roll a little bit. And 174 is still enough to buy any relic if we see a remove for free. And even then, regret? True. Okay, I get more gold, I guess. Minus 2. And it doesn't really save any HP now. Uh, point chance 30. Next spot not that strong though. The regen point in this fight is not going to be full value. Regen point in the next fight is either slime or the double slime or the two louse. Hello, Maxi. Thank you. Good luck. Yeah, it's either the double slime or the two louse. That is a fight that we can regen pot or full. The regen point in this fight is probably only 12. Uh, we also don't want to stay here for too long because of this pen. So I don't use this, yeah? If anything, maybe I use next spot. Or like, one or two. Ow. Holy plus one. Uh, redraw dual cards is better, right? So we do the frag strike. How many times per year do I see the curse remove fountain? Probably it can be counted on one hand, but uh, it's not that rare. I mean, it is very rare, but it's not so rare that I don't see it in seven months in a row. Yes. Yes. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Now yeah, we do uh, try the frag, yeah? And leave the dual cast in the redraw. Yeah, you see, right? the town's already paid for itself. It loses what? 2 HP? It loses me 2 HP from the pin, and it says 4 already if we're upgrading to defense. <laughs> so yeah, plus 2. Of course it loses on draw, so that could have been something if we are close to killing, but we actually are not close to killing. <laughs> so that's already plus 2. Upgraded? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. We can do this. <laughs> ah! Okay, fine. We could have the next spot. But okay, sure. We have full HP now, so I cannot complain too much. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, double regen pot. We have full HP. So, um... Yeah, bone chance now is 20%. Frost. Focus. Oh. Uh, how bad is pen? Guys, how bad is pen? <laughs> yeah, how, how bad is the pen? Uh, how many fights do I need to carry it around? We have full HP currently, yeah? So this pen doesn't really matter for this one fight. And then, um... Advance away, so it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hmm. And we can know when we draw it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We know when we draw it to plan around that. Other choice is remove under, and yeah, it's not even like Sunder's weak. Sunder's super strong. 
Uh, just a little bit gold, just a little bit off, yeah. Is we are 12 gold off from getting this. I mean, that's literally not possible. You know, the house tries its best, but we cannot have enough gold to <laughs> buy this entry move. That's the longest carrier what time spent around more than one night for sure. Because uh, the first time the the thing that made my evaluation when this thing changed was a crown swap run on silent, where I clicked this on floor two or something. I brought it through the entire act one with our shop, rested uh, two or three times and fought four elites, <laughs> and then removed it in act two. And yes, of course the run uh, was strong, which is why uh, my evaluation of this thing goes up. Because it just saves you HP on average. Oh yeah, sometimes you play Ironclad, you never remove pin. <laughs> but uh, that's kind of cheating. <laughs> you are relying on like pain rupture or a pain cube, then you're okay sure the pain is the best kind of deck. <laughs> so that is just cheating. I frozen eye, yeah, super long term value. Of course short term value is not small either, yeah, but mostly it's long term. We only boss squad. Holy Frozen Eye per scrape to scrape away the pain. Man, that sounds pretty really wrong though. If you scrape away your pain. <laughs> don't do that, guys. <laughs> don't, don't hurt yourself to, uh, uh, you know, to make your mental state better. <laughs> that doesn't work. Any other square, of course, right now doesn't play at all, yeah. Besides that, uh, so at some point, I play the tongues up with this and this, but that's like a next cycle. Ah, Sunder remove, and that's what 159 gold, which is 41, 69 gold. Oh man, if we buy this, I have 69 gold left, guys. Wow, is that a false line or what? <laughs> Well, is that actually a false light now? It's false, yeah? Yeah, it's false. Boom, 69. Okay, we'll talk that we buy this team barrier. Probably not, right? Because uh, Sunder only does its job against sentries. Against sentries, we also have like this. Against Lag Bullion, again, we have Tongs and Frost Focus to set up. And we can even play Cold Snap, yeah? That's the thing, we can even play Cold Snap. Because normally, when you don't boss card, you cannot set this up in Lag Bullion. Oh, well, yeah, guess what? We don't have the freaking Lightning Orb. So we draw into Cold Snap, we play it, bam. Lag Bullion still asleep. No problem. <laughs> and if we have time to set up this thing, and we also have upgrades here, Lag Bullion is not a problem. So mostly it's not. And uh, against Nob, if we have an issue, then you yeah, probably should not play gold for the Steam Barrier. I might pick it for free. But I definitely don't play gold for this. So we leave. Also, perfect gold. Perfect gold must leave. Wait, Tongs can hit now. Damn. <laughs> Surely not, right? Surely the Tongs would never betray us like that. Ah, double red. Ah, double red, huh? So, of course, uh, we are like, getting a little bit on here, unless I play Zap Dual Cast. Zap Dual Cast still gets a little bit on, no? Cold Snap to Dual Cast is just uh, stronger, yeah? Well, yeah, the, the next fight, the double resign is probably just stupid. So, just do this now. And we have no frost of it do zap cold snap. If we zap do a cast, we always kill one, but the thing is that if it kills here, then we lose two more. And blocking this is more difficult. But I do have a frost of steel, so I play defrag and it blocks passive. Otherwise, I play cold snap, do a cast, and I have no frost of. I should do this, I right? just zap do a cast. Yeah? 
and hopefully it hits here at least one so that's 75% and then we can go stop kill here yeah of course <laughs> of course not It's fine, we have a defense plus this. And this guy is a 7 and 7 uh, means that we can still play Ghost Armor like this. It gets hit with Tongs. And taking that damage does not actually matter, guys. Right? Look at this, we are still healing. And I do play this Ghost now. 69. Yeah, yeah, we are full HP anyway, it's just slightly annoying. <laughs> but this regen heals way too much. <laughs> so it doesn't matter that we take 2 extra. And it's an anti lethal, so we have full. Ocean is 20. Frost. Focus. Ops. <laughs> okay, I think this is going too far. We just. We, uh, we should pick this Beep Cell. Yeah, Beep Cell Thunder um, already have two upgrades. The knob is the scariest fight. <laughs> I should take this Beep Cell and move on. So we roll 20 go, yeah, sure. Uh, upgrade or triple fight? Probably upgrade. On Sunder. Hello, Salifat. I like this boss card, I don't mind it at all. It's not a good one, but it's not a bad one either. Yeah, Tong save HP again. Root, I guess fine. Next seven. No potion. Um. So one, two, three, four. Uh, two push drops. So currently forty percent. Holy, we could have amplified capacitor, guys. Amplify diffract, amplify capacitor. But uh, here we skip, yeah. I do not need this melter. I don't want to pick this melter. I do not need force field. Uh, even more so than that, we have the knob insurance with the mushroom. So, we are skip, yeah. And yeah, totally, we don't key. Um, turn him into act 2 with the tongs, maybe defend plus can do some work. Go arm, defend plus. Uh, next one sucks. <laughs> hmm, next one sucks. So I should play Defract Cold Snap instead of a Defend Cold Snap or one. Defract Cold Snap is taking uh, two extra this turn, but it blocks one next turn only, so it is negative one. Yeah, I should still Defend Cold Snap and next turn I take. Uh, there's no lethal, yeah, I'm still weak. So next turn, if it attacks 13 again, which is very, very likely, we take uh, 11. Well, sucks to be us. But you know, what can you do? Did I blaze it? the red? Yeah, it's box 3, it's box 1. In the redraw, yeah, we have a uh, redraw Sunder is lethal, otherwise we draw some defense first, full block. Attack 8, please. Yeah, of course not. Ow! Oh yeah, this is plus uh plus one, right? Yeah, plus one. By not playing defrag. Frost. And yeah, of course we fight this. Okay. Uh if I set up the zap here I cannot play my coast snap. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That 
so we are back to the static line. Yeah, thank you for good luck. Uh, not playing the zap is really believing in defect, and but sometimes the tongs hit the coast up anyway. Yeah, I mean this is played for sure. Not playing this is kind of stupid, right? I should just play it. Yeah, if we draw like this, then we are just open now. Because we, we want to open now anyway. <laughs> Next turn, maybe taking a lot, but uh, at worst, we block 6, so we take 14. And sometimes we draw defend into upgrade. Wow. I guess not, minus 14. Ow! Well, minus 14 against this lag of bullying is uh, it's freaking criminal, yeah, I tell you. Of course, that's all the damage we take, but that's criminal. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Is this like only resident port or what? <laughs> so, what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 fights, and 3 pots. So, yeah, 30, 40% again. Frost. Uh, focus, no. Focus, frost. <laughs> I mean, it cannot be that bad, right? <laughs> also, uh, so if I go here, if I have the second defract, now I go here and upgrade most of my defract. Huh? Instead of trying to do burning elite. We can do burning elite, most likely. With uh, Sunder against sentries and mushroom against knob and uh, 15 HP as well, maybe 12 against knob. But we don't die to this knob here. There's also no reason to. Yeah, frost. Focus. Uh, this fight, yes, I can get my regen here, but um, point chance right now is what 40? So I need to drop two potions in these three fights, huh? <laughs> Otherwise, I'm thinking about bringing this regen pot into act 2. We can get 15 here, like if we want to heal 15 here with regen pot, we absolutely can, immediately. But I want to bring this into act 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah, 40%. Uh... Uh, sometimes it gives me a guardian risk as well, yeah? If I lose HP... I probably don't lose so much HP here. Sometimes I can lose HP here next turn. I probably don't lose that much here. But sometimes still bad not fight, we lose maybe 20 or so. And then suddenly if I don't bring the gen pot in this fight, we do have a risk on turn 2 of Guardian. A small one, but it is there. Because uh, splitting with the boss squad is difficult on turn 2. We do have a Thunder, but our damage output otherwise is very low. To do 49 by turn 2. Yeah, I just bring this now. Already have like long-term value. Uh, yeah, boss squad is number 1. Uh, this deck is number 2. Also, also have a lot of go entering Act 2 shop as well, it's um, to refill pots. I play slightly safe now. Yeah, yeah and this I drops another regen pot and I get own. I already see it. Oh, that is wrong. Oh, that is wrong. That's wrong. But I don't, I, I do not even play this strike here, yeah. And now long time value? No, it is. You boss swap into whatever as long as it's not uh, ruining your end game, like Crown or Sozu or Acto or whatever. It is long term value. <laughs> because uh, the quality of your boss relic screen is higher. Yeah, we do not care about Frozen Core on this spot, yeah. The boss relic screen is higher quality. And you also don't see Tiny House form the boss relic screen. That's another thing. Yeah, of course, uh, we know that we can get 15 here easily.
No potion, one chance 50. Mm, oh, that is greedy. Uh, that's greedy is also not going to be green. <laughs> yeah, yeah, long term value card. Also, 9 gold. Long term value, 9 gold. I call death is long term value. It's true. Literally, uh, literally true. 3 damage per turn. The longer the fight goes, the stronger it is. Long term value. <laughs> Uh, big deck as we get, yeah, yeah, I don't even uh, need big deck for the every get. Uh, your deck is at 25 or something, this card is still broken. It's broken later, though, not now. So do we have a risk if I pick it now? Because we already picked like double diffract, yeah? Before the force of it played is of course are empty draws, they don't even deal damage. I don't take this, right? Because uh, even way, way, way down the line, uh, we look like, super far in the future, yeah? like Act 4 even, we have Mushroom already. So if you're slightly slower to accelerate in the hard fight, yeah, it's not so bad. First cycle, we, we already mitigate for free, even Turnip, yeah? Turnip, Mushroom, uh, already mitigate for free, maybe 25 damage or so. How much is Mushroom? Mushroom multi is 15, and Big Hit is... Um, 1.25, so base 45 is 11. Yeah, so Mushroom alone blocks 26, and turn it maybe blocks another... Like, uh... 6 or so. Yeah, it's like 30 plus, yeah? Relic Bar already blocks a hard 30 plus right here. It's like, we still doesn't play early act 2. Like, the biggest thing this every gets picked for is, uh, yeah, if we see Snack go after this act, and then maybe it performs. Otherwise, it doesn't play for quite a while. At some point, it will play. Yeah, of course. It's freaking aggregate, so at some point, we've broken as hell. But the uh, reason this one is probably more in the early game with these cards. And the buff dangerous relics you have? No, no. Uh, if you have enough HP to face tank turn 2, Guardian is like, done for. <laughs> that's, all, that's all we need to do. That we don't die to turn 2, hit 36. Because once we set up a double defrag and cool staff, yeah, you can never deal damage. And we just hit it with thunders once in a while. Maybe play one zap if you want to be uh, if you want to mix it up. Yeah, I don't take this, yeah. If anything, maybe I take on power driver, like make a concession. Um, because we do have two double up types. But yeah, okay, I don't read every gate, but I also don't want to not pick anything. A power driver slightly worse than boss squad, but in this spot is okay. Uh, chance to see nuclear battery also higher. I do not. I don't think I want to pick second compound, but first one is not that bad in this spot. Experience can guard and kill turn two possible. Yeah, if you go uh, like thirty or so and ultra high low roll, it can happen. I don't remember. I think that was like during the boss squad only. Yeah? There was a run where we got into guardian with. 30 HP. Uh, we draw and back a prep. We draw five or six block cards on turn one, and then on turn two we die. <laughs> that was some hot garbage, but just yes, it happened. I think it was on during boss squad only on defect. Like we had boot sequence, echo form, or whatever. Yeah, I'll do my Gloom Plus, and then we just die turn 2 against the Guardian. Because we cannot bail ourselves out with potions. And the draw those are so freaking bad. I think I can take this. So make it slightly better against Nob. If uh, Nob is here. This fight after we kill on Sentry is no problem. And this guy's a 32 because of Tongs upgrading uh, some stuff. Power River sucks. If I compile into Sunder now, I'm crying. And otherwise, I always have my. I mean, I'm not crying that much. So I guess I still do. Ah, it's less damage though compared to just Cold Snap Strike Defrag. If I draw into a defender, I also don't want to play it. Yeah? So we just take this damage and move on. 
So the freckles now strike. We take 17. So we are 39. And then, yeah, and then we move on. And we get would have uh, would give us six damage here. <laughs> it also doesn't matter where I put this. So I guess I should have put this elsewhere to save uh, save time. I should actually save the pussies there to save time. Because we always draw thunder in time to kill this. And after we kill this, the fight's over. Well, too late now. It's okay. Yeah, fight's done. So 39, we cannot die to turn 2 Guardian. Hopefully that means that the fight is done afterwards. Also why, uh, that's what I'm saying eh, about popping regen pot, you can see here. Is that because we have this 39 instead of 24, that we are at uh, zero risk. To be fair, the risk on 24 is extremely small. Because you can still get your double regen to your 33. So you draw one defend, you're still alive, and then regen still gets 15 inside the Guardian fight. But yeah, if we draw a deck like uh, completely upside down, then maybe it can happen. And this fight is not, uh, could sometimes lose us more than 17. Like, it could be a bad knock fight. Beat on the bone. Well, I guess that doesn't. That means that regen pot usage does not matter. Because uh, taking 15 more into Act 2 doesn't really... <laughs> doesn't actually change the Act that much. <laughs> Holy... Oh, aggregate! Oh my aggregate, guys! I also just don't need to check this, yeah? <laughs> there's no need to speculate on this. Yes, the chance of Seko is higher. Seko is very good. Because, um, especially, if, of course, if we take this, it's broken. But even without taking this, the Seko is still not so bad because it draws under fast. Uh, and we have this to mitigate. We have, we have this to mitigate first cycle against the heart, yeah? And we have this to mitigate, like, low rolls in early act 2. Oh, so, again, Seko, very possible. Recycle or no recycle, I'm not interested in. Like, recycle, whatever. Toss that out of the window, like, into the trash. This, you don't toss into the trash. It is very strong. And we also, it's strong in a way that we also don't need. And yeah, it makes the snake go stronger, but that's about it. I want to talk about Snake quite a bit, because, um, yeah, of course it's randomly discounted as Zap cast. And basically, it makes the cheap base cut get slightly better too. That's the thing. Because when you, you play Sneko, yeah, it rolls some garbage zero uh, strike, whatever you don't care, and then your Sunder costs three, and then everything sucks. But now your strikes are strike pluses, it's different. Like your turn is still not that bad, even when all your the only cheap cuts are base cuts. So, uh, of course, Tong Sneko is. Pretty cool. And you cycle back into your upgraded cast faster as well. Yeah? With the Sneko. But uh, I skipped this. Huh? I don't take this one. There's no need to carry it around with double defect in the deck already. It's kind of... It's kind of the idea. And here is yeah, somebody need to redeem, no? Pay up. <laughs> if you want to list, pay up. But at least no, uh, his points is a back though. <laughs> now we can never die this turn. I guess we split. Uh, missing both the frags, huh? It's kind of annoying, but I guess it's fine. <laughs> That's why I had to be okay, fine. <laughs> after this fight, after this fight. 
Uh, yeah, after boss request, yeah. I pick um, the card and then the relic and then uh, I do that. We want to take 5 damage here. I don't think that it will be too difficult because our defects are not in play yet. Ow. Okay, now the defects are in play. And yes, I take more damage instead of playing the Thunder. Oh yeah, now the fight should be over, yeah? 10, 19, yeah, it's guaranteed split. Don't need to do a cast. I want to have force and fun two turns from now, right? So I don't play this damage. Because this one I can block this 20 by evoking this. Reboot over Hyper Beam, Amplify with the double Defrag, and the Mid and the Bone to carry around, but that is again more top and scaling, which we may or may not need. Uh, yeah, Reboot's fine. Mm. Mid and the Bone is strong enough, right? Yeah, yeah, free go. Nine go put chest. Yeah, me and the bone strong enough, yeah? So I take the collar. Yeah, Zek definitely wants energy in boss fights. So, uh, if you're scared of hallways, then you take the key. Maybe I should be scared of hallways. Relic will not be here, yeah, this one. Relic order, maybe also this one, because you never know, there could be frozen core here. Oh yeah, this is the one, um, basically the order is this into this into this. I hope that I don't die be because I trust this too much, but I trust this. Okay, tier list. Yeah, let's do the tier list. My tier list, tier maker, enemy. Make it bigger. Here list for eighteen. Ah, here list for dating. Okay. Um, I assume it's like who I would date. So, uh, what is this? So we go one by one, yeah? let's just not go tier. Okay, once again, you need to add an F tier. So, uh, it's dog worm. I mean... Generally speaking, pretty ugly. <laughs> it's nice as a pet, but you know, like, to, to date this? Yeah, no. <laughs> So pretty, uh, yeah, pretty sad. Maybe... 
it's not like really F though, but for me, yeah, definitely below average. I don't know how much below though. So for now, I put it C. If uh, depend on how the list develops, I can put this down to D. The cultist. Yeah, I mean this guy, this, this is a person, right, in the costume. So it's just kind of a weird though, but it is a person. Yeah, it is a person. It's just a little bit of a weird though. So it's not that bad. At worst, average. Could not be worse than like some of the things out here, you know. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's a costume. A like, very. Yeah, it's like, it's like kind of um. Kind of when a teenager going through a phase. Which is, you know, exhausting sometimes, but... Maybe you, uh... Maybe you get along well, and then everything's good. <laughs> and yeah, we like, uh... It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, cosplay a girlfriend, yeah, sure. Now, so once again, these are cute for us pets, but... I mean, they are better than Jogworm. They do look nicer. Maybe just like a brown average, right? B, B is a is a average tier for me. C is slightly below. This is garbage. Right, probably these are B. The slimes. Yeah, they are bugs, but they do look nice. They look cuter than Jogworm at least. So uh, if you are forced to, then maybe it's not so bad. Ah, uh, the slimes. The slimes. Hmm. I mean, I don't know, guys. Some people are into these things. Uh... Some, some people are really into these things. Uh, I am really not, yeah? Yeah, probably for me also. Just like Jogum tier. Like all of these. Maybe they are cuddly, though, because they are soft. Could be slightly higher than this, but we'll see. Uh, this guy, yeah, no times. <laughs> this guy probably freaking smells and also brings a lot of diseases and also, yeah, disgusting. This guy is like empty in every list, so it's pretty sad, right? And uh, except for the one list where it was like the, uh, yeah, for the enemy art. Yeah, for enemy art, this guy is actually quite high, but every other list is like bottom, absolute bottom tier. That's quite sad. <laughs> Pet Gremlin, well, I mean, honestly, not too bad. Pretty cute. Yeah, generally pretty cute. Just a little bit chunky, so... But I don't know. It's not about the size, right? it's about uh, the personality. <laughs> and I mean, it's not like too, too oversized, you know, so it's fine. He is okay, average. Uh, Mad Gremlin, well, I mean, I don't know. This is probably like, exhausting as hell. Side, I think it's like a hammer of some sort. Yeah, this is like probably exhausting as hell. Like angry all the time. Yeah, I don't want to deal with this. Shield Gremlin, well, very dedicated. Um, yeah, defends you all the time. Good. Sneaky, well, I mean, it's in the name, right? It's freaking sneaky. Bad. Wizard. Well, I mean, well, you know what wizard means, yeah? Wizard means that they should be single. So, unfortunately, we have to be law accurate here. The sentry. Yeah, probably pretty edgy and also hard. Like, cannot be cut though. Also, you never know when where they're facing. Personality wise, probably zero. We have no idea. So, uh, yeah, pretty bad. <laughs> Just a machine. I mean, maybe some people are into the AI dating nowadays, but mm, I'm not quite there yet. The knob. But oh, the knob is just a big uh, mad gremlin. Definitely some anger management issue because the... 
The north map is called Rest, right? I mean, yeah, like, you can... Some people appreciate these apps, yeah? But, uh, for me, the anger issues are more important. But maybe just because of these apps, I put it uh, above the Mad Gremlin. <laughs> but I, uh, I wouldn't recommend to dating the knob. Like a Woolin, well, I mean, very nice, right? Like, potentially disabled because uh, lost one eye here, but that's not a problem. Sleeps all day, so a bit lazy, but mm, it's fine, like. Honestly, it doesn't look bad to cut, though, really. It was pretty nice. Probably slightly, like, around average, maybe slightly above, but, uh, okay. The Guardian. Uh, kind of tawny, honestly. Like, look at this. I really want to hug this guy. <laughs> Once again, also a machine. So, uh, yeah, pretty pretty sad, right? Hexagos, yeah, I don't want to get third degree burns, please. Sign boss, uh, honestly, it looks nicer than these things. will probably go slightly above. It's hot, yeah, a little bit too hot for me, though. <laughs> the bird? Uh... I have nothing to say about the bird. <laughs> that is pause, uh, yeah, the effects run still going on. I mean, if you are on PC, you can also just still see my necklace right now. <laughs> The run is right after Icon boss. I just pick the boss relic and the boss card and it's uh, before choosing node in Act 2. Yeah, this is probably just slightly... It's like better than Jawworm, but nothing special. So probably just B tier. Uh, baseball, once again, just a machine. Yeah, all the machines go here. So I guess we can be consistent and put all of them there. Yeah, bam, 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 bam. Uh, what else is the machine? Yeah, this guy. And this guy. Mm, yeah, I guess this is here too. Okay, avocado. Eh, avocado is probably... Dogworm tier. I mean, I don't know. Some people are into this kind of mouse, yeah? But uh, I am not. Yeah, some, some people are probably into this, but I am not. <laughs> so probably for me, like, pretty low. Honestly, it looks... Uh, I think Jogum looks slightly better than this. Chosen, once again, the poser looks... Honestly, looks better than Cautist, though. So, uh, at least here, I could see S, but we'll see what is in S first before deciding. The tips, yeah, I don't need tips. Humans and whatever, but uh, yeah, filthy tubes go here. <laughs> these are great. Oh, these are definitely S tier. Like, dedicated protects you, uh, also humanoid. So these, these definitely go here. <laughs> Snack plan, yeah, once again, some people are into this. Uh... <sighs> I mean, I don't know, guys. This looks like it will hurt. Yeah, yeah, also Centurion Mystic, of course, uh, has to be the same tier. You get one, you uh, and also you get one, you get two. In Japan, yeah, I mean, I don't know. In Japan, the things in Japan uh, do not have teeth, no? And, uh, yeah, the popular things do not have teeth here. The Snacko. I mean, we are just confused all the time. What to do about this?
But honestly, probably is still better than these things. We'll see, it's fine. Yeah, we'll stop playing. No one can stop, please. You, uh, dead some. Yeah, if your if your dead has uh, a chance to stop you, yeah, maybe try another one. It's not worth it, guys. <laughs> it is not worth it. We have leader once again, very motivational. Um, looks out for the underlings. Yeah, but honestly, pretty caring also. Confirmed to be female, right? By developers. And VS. The slavers, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, the list for this <laughs> genetic list. I mean, I can make it a bit smaller. Because the enemies are clear enough. It's not like the, the cast of the relics. The slavers. Well, I mean, I don't condone thieves. I should not condone slavery, right? Yeah, I don't. I guess it's go here. <laughs> don't be shame. I mean, yeah, if you are into them, yeah, sure, go ahead. But uh, not for me. The chain. Well, this guy looks hot. <laughs> yeah, honestly, this guy looks like he would be hot. Like, outfit very, very cool. Correct. The... Well, some people are into these legs. I would say I'm not the biggest fan, but... Not so bad either, honestly. Yeah, honestly, not so bad. Yeah, you are mine and all the debuff is a little bit... Um, maybe a little bit too far though. But cannot be so bad, cannot be so bad. Hot chat, yeah, once again, same as Hexagos, so I do not... <laughs> not too interested. Darklings, probably also same as Slams. Cuddly, but uh, sometimes a little bit weird. Transient, yeah, death you for a little bit and freaking goes away. Just, just vanishes. Wow, that's not very good, no? But still, uh, maybe not so harmful like this. I can go here. The maw. Well, that's just jawworm. That's just a big jawworm, so wherever jawworm goes, the maw goes. Okay, so if you're into... Yeah, that's the point, right? You'd say the snack plan is popular in Japan. Well, they are, what about these? These are the real things, you know? This thing is actually sharp, yeah? These are the real things. So, uh, depending on your preference, this can be S or it can be anywhere else. I would say for me, I'm honestly pretty indifferent. Yeah, I'm pretty indifferent about it. So, uh, maybe this guy is like just... I mean, B is fine, just average. Ah, no, no, it's freaking squeeze you. Ah, do you like being squeezed? <laughs> if you like being squeezed, then maybe it can go up. <laughs> Otherwise, maybe here is fine. And this thing, yeah... Too random, really. That changed their mind, like... Every minute. It's kind of annoying, honestly. The Nemesis. Kind of sus. Looks cool, though. Looks pretty cool. But you can see from the middle here, probably underneath is just all bones. Yeah, probably underneath the row is just all bones, no flesh. Um... Kind of annoying. Oh yeah, it gives you parasite too. Also, yeah, burns. Uh, with you burns. Probably like slightly above, below average. Retomancer. Hmm. Well, Retomancer. I mean, I mean, uh, some people would put this instantly in S. I don't know for sure though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the ex-wife, not the current wife. <laughs> Uh, 
Did I see if they have a good luck? Honestly, yeah, probably good though, probably good. Once again, it's just in the costume, but uh, you know, uh, listen, you know how she looks, yeah? Instead of uh, this guy having the mask on. And yeah, I would say she looks like pretty okay. It's okay. Giant head. Uh, yeah, some people are into this. I don't know whether I am. <laughs> yeah, really, some people are into this, yeah, but I am not. But uh, maybe it's here. Awaken one. Yeah, the posers have gone too far yeah, and they transform into this. Still looks really comfy, though. No? To. To cuddle. Probably above average is fine. Like slightly. Around exactly average or slightly above. Time eater, yeah, rush you the time route. Uh, say that he never likes you. I hate this thing, so. Uh, personal bias, it goes here. Oh, the Neka, now this is uh, maybe controversial. Maybe it's not that controversial, but uh, don't lose F. I uh, Neka is F and don't do is still above. <laughs> don't do is definitely nice to 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 cut though, and the other thing is just sharp. Uh, but maybe I don't know whether these things have feelings or not, yeah. So maybe still cannot be that high. Oh, the goal? Yeah, I don't know. Some people like that, uh, I'm not sure it's the same for me. I can still, yeah, that's what I'm saying is like controversial because normally you just put these in the same tier, but for me, no. <laughs> Spear and shield. I think burns you using debuff your strength. All your focus. It also shields you, this guy shields you, this guy buffs your strength. So, buffing your strength comes with, uh, Buff strength comes with burn. The other ones, the buff strength comes with shield. Honestly, I don't feel anything about these things. And they don't even look like they are... Letable, you know? Yeah. They just look weird. To death. Oh, we can go here. The heart. Yeah, yeah, like, it's like also probably mechanical. Machine tier. The heart. Uh, beat you every time you move. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound very nice now. <laughs> How does it? Every time you do something, you get beaten. Yeah, well, that's pretty abusive, no? And uh, I do not support abusive relationships, yeah? So all four playable characters go S tier? No, uh, Silent is S. Watcher is probably A. Uh, the effect is B. And Ironclad is F. If the characters are here. If it's a robot, yeah, the effects robot, like... But, uh, emotion chip, emotion chip is installed. <laughs> oh, automaton, yeah, automaton doesn't do anything, no? It's like, no feelings. The effect actually has feelings. Yeah, Ironclad, um... If you know the Ironclad law, like, he kills his entire village on his own. Uh, not not he he kills it, but uh, demon kills it. But he makes a pact that kills his entire village, and now he's like demon Nick and self uh, has tendency to self harm, which is you know uh, probably not very nice to be uh, too close to. I 
actual spy law, yeah, yeah, you can read sensory stone. If you pay attention to sensory stone text, uh, there's some bits here and there. Yeah, the hard way should I put this? Like, probably not F tier, but cannot be too much higher. So maybe D. Could be controversial this list, <laughs> but I don't care what you think. Okay, so I guess back to the run. So where are we? We have what? Frost focus? Uh, service color will be in the bone, yeah? Lots of gold, so I probably want to pass early shop. I uh, don't want to fight too many hallway fights. The only way to go to early shop is a force elite here. We do have fear pot. Yeah, fear pot thunder, but against leader, maybe a little bit annoying to deal damage. Against uh, boost stabbing, could be annoying to deal damage. Yeah, it's never surprisingly okay we don't boss black thunder. 70 at least? No. So if there's a tier list you are really attached to uh, try to save it yourself or uh, find it in YouTube force or something. So yeah, go to this shop and then force the lead. Otherwise. So we have urgent upgrades, so a beam self upgrade would be nice, but not super needed with this. Uh, reboot away is nice, also super, not super needed. Automaton as a boss. 330 gold, so we can afford Red Relic. And then Elite Fire, do not fight this probably. And then go here. Uh, either here in late act 2 question marks, or here in late act 2 fights, but act 2 fights not actually amazing. Unless we are stronger in hallway fight somehow. I think this side to avoid hallway fights, who fight the three question mark and then fire elite fire, but no potential to shop unless we lost second elite. So I don't think we commit to force elite here. Yeah? Slightly dangerous, but uh, option hopefully make us strong enough. Starting here is strictly better than starting here, also doesn't really make sense to <laughs> to ever go this way. But we can start here anyway, then pretend that we made a good decision. Ow. Oh, that's why we have it the bone. Ow. Uh, how much more do I need to take? 11, right? Yeah, I take 11 to heal tail, so if I can take 11, I will. And here I'm forced to take more damage, yeah? even if I don't want to. Um, so what? This is 6, and I'm taking 8. So, actually, 11 is perfect, right? Because I have triple force, so I block for 18. And at some point, we will do 21 again. And that is dealing the last 3 damage. If I don't take any more damage to beyond that. Yep, first floor me and the bone activates. That's not exactly a good sign. <laughs> but you know. Put this close to lethal range and at some point he deals 71 and we lose our 3. Because a tornado I can never deal damage. Yeah? Well, normally this guy is so ready to do 21, you know, and now we are waiting for it and it just never does it. <laughs> Remember that normal running does this all the time, you yeah? Ah, so you just complain. If you complain, it works. Now we lose 3. Wow, oh, perfect mid. Chill. Yeah, chill attack. Unless you tell me we need darkness for boost stabbing damage or something similar. But chill is a little bit too good in hallway fights. More force or for dark would be And I uh, can even honestly can even upgrade the chill at some point too if we really are. 
if you're really going to make this never break and with double defect making frost off faster even the next fall is still quite decent yeah right here what the hell is my chill <laughs> wow um to be fair the fall energy will not do anything here yeah Unless I am going to use fear pot, which I am not. So we are just getting absolutely own in this fight. No chill I take down this? Yes, I would. Oh, I don't want to lose gold. This fight is so fuck. Okay, sorry, but <laughs> this, this guy is so annoying. Because uh, they deal an insane amount of damage and then they also lose my gold right before the shop. And there's uh, honestly nothing I can do about it. Because this guy is just, uh, this fight is just dumb. So I guess I try to save the goal on the left instead of trying to save both goals, yeah? If I try to kill both of them, I probably fail to kill both. <laughs> then we do we just try to hit on the left. Now at least we have a chill here. If I double, if I co snap and it uh, hits here, then we have lethal. If not, then we have four, and then if oak seven, we take three damage. If I play defend after seeing the co snap, we take two. So take two or take three, and you know, it's still six damage. That's yeah, it just doesn't make a difference. Leaving this uh, upper round doesn't do anything either. If I double defend here, we take one. So it's still better EV wise. Okay, fine. Don't hit, please. Oh, come on. Oh man, 60 gold, huh? Well, sometimes we can kill it, but uh, pretty unlikely. Yeah, like this, never, unless we draw beams of thunder next turn. Which can happen. We can draw beams of thunder next turn. Oh, even then it's not enough, yeah. Even then it's not enough, it's 55. And yeah, we don't even draw beam cell. So that's minus 60 gold. Yeah, you want to uh, act full fight easy whole way, and you lose uh, 22 HP and 60 gold. Very cool. This fight is dumb. This fight actually just dumb. <laughs> And people complain about avocado, yeah? But this fight is a real stupid fight. One pot? No. And then I walk into the shop and buy one pot for... 55. Yeah, sure, you can make gold. But that's only if you see a one pot. I would buy a one pot for sure. <laughs> okay, at least I don't miss anything super important here. Like if, I, if that cost me like an incense burner or whatever, I would be uh, pretty upset. So, puzzle, we can buy. After puzzle, can remove. If we remove the Renwit, the uh, um, uh, cleric does not show up. And buy hologram on sale as well. Or 15 gold. 15, we can still afford this, yeah, so yeah, it's probably worth buying. Um, so now, yes, we can buy the remove. We can also exchange the fear pot for fairy if you're really, really, really terrified. But I believe in meeting the bone for now. And my cool head instead of removing in case of uh, buys next floor. And Quarter is a good draw in the Elite fight as well on 4 energy. It's not a bad draw in the in hallway fight either though. If we say that we just meet in the bone up um, every floor and then that would defract set up and we are invincible afterwards. Not actually a bad draw. And it's cheaper. It's way cheaper than this. Yeah, sure. 
and just leave yeah unless you tell me we need bull lightning against the bull stabbing is that true or not because right now bull stabbing damage is very fishy you can see that we do have f energy and maybe some strike plus uh, at some point no? rebound plus as well it's under one time is 50 rich the five pot is 20. can be purple vault and can throw double pot And bow landing is still a bad draw in most fights. Yeah? Probably not, right? Yeah, probably not. Potion chains right now. Two fights, one pot. So 40%. Uh, by the way, we have Tongs Dagger, yeah? Yeah, we do have Tongs Dagger. Next turn, a bit annoying because she's buffing now and we don't deal 21 damage. So they can both hit us next turn. Or 31 total, but we also draw with Puzzle and maybe we can draw into the Chill into some Defracts. Oh yeah, of course we are. <laughs> of course we are waiting for Dagger Plus, like, what are you expecting? Because now to do a cast is blocking 12 and I'm taking 2, I lose 1 force off, but that's not a problem, right? Sometimes this guy does not attack turn 2. Sometimes she doesn't attack turn 2 either, she can also buff. Oh, uh, there go lands immediately, so that's cool. What is not so cool is I don't draw my chill. I do not draw my chill here. That's why it isn't lead, so I would prefer to not pot. And even if I five pot, it's not lethal. It's one damage off. So just compile driver and hopefully draw to block or what? Zap compile driver is only drawing into yeah. The only good draw is a chill. The compile driver draw is probably just better. Okay, fine. Ow. And now 17, but that's not a problem. Next turn she heals, yeah. Only 2 HP only is pretty dangerous though. And we do have 4 energy. Okay, now this thing is dead, and then uh, cost fire is done. We are 32. We, yeah sure, fun load block for hallway fights, um, hold the ritual dagger, for energy in elite's bosses. Flex potion, not that strong, uh, compared to what we currently have I mean, so probably no. On chains right now, 30%, we can die here sometimes, hopefully not, but we can. On oh, hallways, I expected, right? <laughs> that is, of course, expected. You cannot skip boss relic and refine. But uh, that's what I'm saying. I believe this is a boss relic. <laughs> this so far is plus 36, yeah? So if you do not have this in Victor Caller, you are dead. 
But that is actually just true. Unless you throw potions some way, but I don't believe that potion even save HP anyway until now. If you do not have this relic and you pick the color over the Kursky, you are dead. And I go upwards again. Uh, this is what we save our thing for though. Uh, no force turn one. So there are a couple of lines we can do here. I think the line I want to take is... Um, take 5 and pop puzzle. And I am willing to spend 5 pot here. Point chance 30% but secondly it's optional. Yeah? I'm willing to spend uh, 5 pot here. Uh, do I agree the deck or not? Okay, defy is always play. Possible rebound zap for passive damage on her. Passive damage into this guy. He gains a uh, 10 block though. There's 31 currently and 5 force only 11. But 31 is still enough for Sunder to kill. Because he hits 10 and she hits for 33 next turn when she attacks him. Yeah? So 43 damage in total, we do draw 8 with focus in play. And 5 pot ready to... or fear pot or even both. So like, if we don't want to greet this dagger... I can do... Um, I can just dagger the wizard basically. And then we do... Yeah, rebound, dagger... The wizard and play the zap. In fact, I can enlift the... Yeah, I actually don't even want her to resummon. Eh? So what if I just force her to attack next turn? 27, I don't really die to that. And I draw it. I deal with the boss of strength when using powers defect. Uh, you just play your powers. <laughs> that is actually a real advice. Eh? If your powers scale your block, just play them. Especially when you're playing lower ascension, even. You're playing lower ascension, it gains only one strength. So, one strength, what does it mean? You lose, uh, it gains four more damage on the multi hit. Yeah, so if your power blocks more than four per turn, it's positive. So, just play that. That is still true, even only 20, yeah, where it gains two strength. So, uh, every power you play, it gains eight damage on the multi hit. But, if frag gains you, if you have slot, if frag gains you eight more, more than eight block. You have focus and your slots also gain you more than 8 block per turn. Yeah, yeah, it actually just punishes. Uh, it's not just bad block, he also punishes low front note damage because the cultist hit very hard. Yeah, the cultist hits you very, very hard. <laughs> so kill the cultist first, just play all your blocking powers and play all your force and then sit there and then he doesn't do anything. Of course, some runs you cannot find your block scaling powers, but then you can deal with it otherwise. Maybe some uh, go for the eyes, permanent quick chain, uh, some hologram, or whatever. But yeah, basically, if your powers have you block, just play them. I don't think I should read Richard Dagger here, though, but um, I am thinking about something pretty dumb. Is that I actually leave the wizard alive and force her to attack so that my chill is like 3 frost to block. Because the wizard would die turn 3 regardless, you yeah? know? And the wizard does not attack on turn 2, so strength map does not matter. The problem with this line is that she always attacks, and I must kill the mech remnant by turn 2. But I can put a little bit more damage on her, instead of killing wizard now... And if she resummons the fight, it's still pretty ugly. Because we don't have uh, actual AoE damage, we only have a Sunder. I know that it's AoE in a sense, but it's not AOE, real AoE in this fight. Because uh, you kill minions only and you don't give them the damage on the leader still. <laughs> yeah, rebound that is risky as hell though if we try to force her to attack. Because then suddenly it's minus one draw and then draw only seven. Not playing extra zap, 
Can we actually kill her ever though? Fire pot breach. Uh, fear pot breach. Maybe it's fine. Yeah, maybe it's actually fine. We just still need to die turn 3. Not a huge problem, I would assume. Um, but yeah, if we do ritual dagger on the wizard, the zap has one up 3 to kill it. Would that be a bad case? Yeah, replaying Zap is not important if she is guaranteed to attack next turn. And we can still hologram it later. <laughs> oh, this fight is so complicated, guys. <laughs> Why is this fight so hard? I don't even know how to approach it at, the, at this moment, yeah? Because we need to think about... We, we need to think pretty deep here, right? Maybe four or five turns ahead. Because if you just try to play uh, one turn ahead, like at some point this fight is unwinnable. <laughs> so what's my goal here? Like, do I want uh, to have a 30 damage reach by leaving Rucho Dagger in the deck with the Fear Pot unused? And of course, sometimes I get my Rucho Dagger damage, yeah? Or do I want to use Dagger now to clean the minion? My gut feeling is that I should save this 30 reach. So we do Zap into Strike into Rebound. I do not want to rebound the Zap in this spot. And I double hit the Wizard, right? So take 5. And we are facing 10 from the Mad. And uh, 33 from the Leader, that's 43 damage in total. We draw 8 cards. And 2 focus is in play. Wizard needs to die turn 3, the Mad Gremlin also needs to die turn 3, but the potion is unused. Thunder is killing Mad Gremlin through the shield, if we draw it uh, with the puzzle next turn. And I leave Dagger behind, yeah? so it's just uh, Zap into Strike into Rebound on the Wizard, no potion used this turn. I think the Fear Potion is probably going on her at some point. This Light has a small chance of dying next turn, but once again, Slide is not safe at all. Five pot range damage leader. If that's the case, just five pot leader instead. No. Why not just five pot on the leader instead uh, later on for twenty four instead of wasting some damage here. Flexibility is good, like because this guy must die turn three. If you put your damage on the leader right now, turn three you are forced to either five pot or like pay all your damage on this guy. And then yeah, I want flexibility. Oh god. Oh, not seeing chill or thunder right now is really bad. And soon, uh, Terrence died too hard on Silent. Okay, at least drawing Equi. That's pretty bad though. Wow. Okay, at least we don't need to worry about that next turn, but uh... Yeah, that is bad. <laughs> yeah, the fact that we don't draw these two this turn is extremely, extremely bad. And I need to... So we block, what? 17, 22, 22, we're going to 6. The Chill, of course, later on is still blocking one full turn. But going to 6 immediately is scary as hell. Of course, for the floor after this fire, you can rest here, yeah? If we make it through. But that's not good. <laughs> That's definitely not good. Draw like this in this fight. I can play Compound Rival and go to 1 sometimes, but Compound Rival now and to the Sunder doesn't even kill anymore. Because we don't have energy. So just chill, def uh, just equi defend and take the hit. Yeah? 22, yeah, go to 6. Wow, buff and stab resummon. Uh, 
We don't even draw... I guess we can compound now to guarantee the Sunder draw next turn. 50% of the time she attacks though. If she attacks, uh, it would be for 48. So can we block 48 or not? If it just compound rival, like... Beam cell compound rival on her now. We have 3 passive, so that's 18, 18, 1 evoke would be for 9. 18 plus another 18, 36. 36, and then the reboot. It's barely blockable, yeah? And on our 6 and drawn to Sunders, I don't want to waste the damage on the Mad Memlin now. Yeah, if I draw Sunder, I just Sunder. So I play Chill here and I Sunder with this guy. Uh, we know next time we never die, even if she attacks. Is that true? 48. And I play... 36, 41. Actually, no. I'm going to die by 1 HP. If I don't Hollow Equi here. If I Hollow Equi, the fight never progressed though. So, one of... Um, one of two, it always either defend or reboot. If I always defend, we always live. 25% she attacks here. Yeah? One of two, we had this or this. And then I can play Defrag, uh, double cold snap into reboot. If it's reboot, it's plus. If defense is plus, it upgrade that. Otherwise, I need to Defrag, cold snap, cold snap, and then reboot for my life. But that is one of two, followed by another one of four. One of eight, and then reboot also needs to break. And if I do not put damage on her right now, we get nowhere. So I need to yeah, triple strike on her. Sometimes we die next turn. Okay, she does not attack. Reboot is green, no? Um, she can attack next turn like this. Refract reboot immediately, right? And maybe you can push for a kill. Tier 3 energy that can actually fear post thunder. But okay, no, no, not yet. We defract reboot and then let's see. But I don't think I play this coast time and not the reboot. Hologram is still in the deck. But uh, yeah, it's probably clocking time. <laughs> Do I dream? Do I still dream? Yes, I can still dream of landing this dagger. And we fear for and play triple attack instead. And then this is 30 risk, which means we deal 27 here, 30, 57. Cannot do it with Sunder though, so she must not attack next turn. Yeah, let's stop, let's stop being stupid, yeah. It's actually time to stop being stupid. <laughs> and play the dagger. Ah, she's dead. So field pot, uh, 5 pot preserve. We are however very low HP. Try dummy, no potion, sure. Uh, garbage, if anything, maybe turbo. Oh, they have energy in important fights, no? We do lack energy slightly in some turns, like in puzzle turn, we do. Uh, go to turn, compound driver turn. Uh, with Equi also, it gets a little bit stronger, yes. We are resting, yeah? So, and then go here and see. No, don't go to the shop. Yeah, Turbo and Hallway is not so bad either. So this is just the aggregate, but worse, yeah? If I had an aggregate plus right now, it would be nice. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I can take this. One chance right now. One, two, three, four. Um, two potion drops, so currently 40. Go here. I mean, Chill turn 1 is good at least, but this fight is pretty scary. Thunder can kill 1. We don't have enough energy to hollow Thunder, but we do have the reboot. This is not lethal. 
Even though I dead good now. Yeah, totally nine damage. So it's time to dream, right? It's actually just time to dream. We do a uh, defend rebound here, take one. And leave the regular in the redraw. I don't think rebound should go here though, because of the... Um, some... Small turns under the threshold. And we can draw into turbo soon. This is wasting a lot of damage basically. And sometimes we draw beam self thunder and kill the one that we play rebound on 55 HP. Other times we are... Fire pot, uh, so we are potioning now. With uh, above mid range. Taking one damage. Wow. <laughs> and now we are potioning, yeah? Uh, slightly annoying this turn, but I guess it's still fine. One more, and that's perfect mid range. Oh, really? <laughs> well, I better draw to Sunder now, yeah? I'm telling you. Hmm, I see. Well, I can still kill one bird. <laughs> but I see. 18, 21. So now is the annoying thing is that sometimes I draw thunder with this with a void. But uh, can we kill this now? 18, 21, uh, 30, 43. Yeah, exactly. So, okay, sure. Now thunder kill this. If we don't draw void. Okay, thank you. So now, perfect mid-range. No potion use. A ritual dagger is still in here, and this guy is alone. Oh no, guys. It seems like a good outcome. I think this is a good outcome. Do I play turbo before reboot or not? Am I even playing reboot? I think I am. So change your yeah, deck is really 26 is so one of 26. Yes, excellent math. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. Yeah, now we get our dagger, yeah. Ah. Ah. Yeah, it's impossible to stay here any longer. So this has to be only plus three. But yeah, you see, right? We just literally get plus one uh, five pot. Or... Nothing. <laughs> Second hollow. Uh, I guess. This is fine. I don't think I take a third one ever, but second hollow is okay. Setting up some equi dagger. Maybe do some thunder in. I recommend so even way down the line. Could be. Hey. I don't keep her. Ovon, yeah, I guess. Uh, 
Okay, dagger is plus at least. So we can stay here. Which we can set up 18 block per turn. So we can probably stay here for a while, yeah? And uh, dagger can happen. So there's no kill here. In theory, you can set up 18 block per turn. <laughs> In theory. Now in practice, however, I don't know, looking at this hand. We don't have much room, no? But, uh, and next time we draw only block. It's just that if I do defect to um, do a cast now in order to full block this, we are in a bit of trouble. Uh, if we just play the equi, we also, it also sucks though. Yeah, maybe it's still just defect dual cast. Yeah? Oh, Snacko. I love Snacko, guys. Anyone else loving Snacko? I love Snacko. And this is called Snap Zero. This guy apparently also never does the thing. Yeah? He's forced to do the thing this turn, right? Yeah, the big hit. Okay, now we uh, yeah, we have dagger plus. Next thing I can never do the thing, so we take no damage and dagger kills. We are missing 11, uh, we are 11 above beat range, so taking 11 to heal 12, technically losing 1. But taking 11 in this fight is not easy. No potion? Oh really? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, 60%, it's not that high. Because in plus, I mean green I take. Yeah, no green, no deal, but green is deal. So, here's a small problem. Uh, I guess we face either book or slave, and slave will still have 5 port, yeah? For some reason, we still have a 5 port, yes. So, we can kill slave. Book of stabbing damage is very fishy. Strike down me, beam cell, double hollow whim can cover a little bit, though. No? But it's not super easy to kill the book. Uh, and more importantly, our automaton damage is completely garbage at the moment. Basically, what I'm thinking is that uh, maybe we actually just go to the fight. With poor chance 60% right now, HP above mid range, so if we take a bit of damage in the next fight, it's still fine. We can take mid and the bone. And yeah, maybe just find more cards to deal with Automaton. Because right now, if we want to Automaton, we are, we are just dead. And this way also feeds our deck, uh, even though it's like pretty harsh with Silver's Caller. But we do have a big, kind of a big deck uh, now. 28 will be big uh, once we get through this, and also plus one Relic. Now, Red is also fairly powerful, yeah? Um, because we have so much max SP. Like going this way, uh, what question marks do we even want now? Like, buys, I don't really care at this point. Oh, no, like, library. Just a usual suspect, right? Like the library, transform tool, transform tool can also break. Uh, the twike, the red mask bandits. But plenty of bricks as well, yeah? Like, buys are bricks, operations in this part scary as hell. I mean, it's not that scary because you do have me in the bone and. Double hologram and the equi, so maybe it can use to be it can be used to block the automaton, but our issue in that fight is not blocking, it's damage. So like how many bricks are there? Because number one, it makes the elite fight immediately slightly riskier, considering our dagger is weaker and we only have one port. And then the number of brick events. 
uh yeah bites uh mausoleum in this part it would also say it's maybe a brick but we probably take the mausoleum or an outer looks like maybe 2.5 cleric is uh 3.5 3.5 bricks and still a lot of hits. I mean, yeah, of course, late events and act to super high value. How scared are we of automaton? Because potion solution right now is none. Damage solution also is none. It cannot deal damage to automaton at the moment, and then it kills us because it does outscale four focus. Yeah, four focus with the uh, recursion plus, we can probably block like I don't know forty per turn or something, but we cannot deal damage to it. And we do have a turbo and recursion plus to make hallway fight slightly better now. A rich dagger is also like kind of big enough. I just run into hallways, right? Even with the color. Uh we get we exchange two question mark for two hallway fights. But we also get this elite in a slightly quote unquote safer position. If it's actually safe. Because right now, if we go into here for for the boost stabbing, it's not even safe. You want to boost stabbing, you lose at 25, 30 or something. And then the floor after is Twike and it freaking kills you. <laughs> yeah, what about that? Twike is not even always good yet, so is Red Mask Bandit. If we go here and get absolutely on, then we can even go into the shop instead. Of uh, fighting potentially boost stabbing here. And I'm talking as if Slaver is free. Yeah, Slaver is definitely not free. Slaver is just that like we have to, uh, we take damage on turn 1 and we probably stop taking damage afterwards. But turn 1 you can just walk into that fight and take 30 or something. Very possible. It's not even like this fight is free. Okay, you again. Uh, this fight is also not free because we are currently taking uh, 19. But you know, we have beaten the bone. That's what I'm saying, is like we are above beat range right now, so we can lose a little bit, yeah. This man no bear is FTL. He's a thief. Ow. In Japan, no, we don't even need to fight the elite that much. And uh, honestly, upgrading dagger by 5 damage is also a small potion. It is kind of like a potion on this one. <laughs> I don't actually want to play this equi, right? He's not healing. And now we wait for dagger plus. Plus, yeah, without the mid, we would have a curse key. Uh, might still be dead. <laughs> because uh, you can see the difference between 3 and 4 energy is not actually as big as this. In the whole way fights just now, in the whole way fights until now. And we are just bleeding like crazy regardless. This relic has healed 60 HP in this act, and we are currently at 34 after resting once. <laughs> just think about that. <laughs> it would be like uh, negative 50 by now without this speed. <laughs> Maybe should I play reboot, but probably not too important. And I go next turn. Decent chance to hit and it's only 22 HP. Damn. Of course you stay here, yeah? Sounds always a pick. Uh, is insert? Whatever here. Always a pick. The answer is no.
12, 12, 28. So it actually kills, right? So I can do something like this. I mean, I can also just rebound the equi. Instead of doing equi into wasting my hollow on the dagger. Always? No. That is completely fake news. I do not say always. I'm pretty sure I said a, uh, something along the line, yeah? but uh, the sentence does not include the always word. So this is journalism at work right here. <laughs> they just like insert a random word to my sentence and then it changes the meaning. I should play this to increase the chance of dagger getting upgraded. Nice. Hey, right, potion. Uh, not a very good one, though. No? Bone chance now is 50. <sighs> is that how we kill automaton? The uh, rebound streamline hollow streamline of the gods or the amplify uh, defrag of the gods? <laughs> We have equilibrium and double hologram, no? So the equi on the defect actually can happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have a lot of control with this MP5. Like, it's quite decent. And maybe also makes the boost start being fight potentially better. Too. If we even are fighting, are we fighting this? Our dagger is 33 now, so the slaver's fight is mostly free, yeah, because we have two instant kill cards. Either we draw Sunder or we draw dagger and then they are dead instantly with the five pot. Uh however, yes, I still expect to lose uh, in the bad in the bad fight I still expect to lose maybe 25 or 30 against either the book or the slaver. Especially if I take this amplify as a into my deck by the brick. We go to let's say minus 30, it's 28 HP into the next fight. 28 should be enough for the whole way. Hmm. So we lose more than 30 in the elite fight, then I cannot fight it, yeah? Roughly that. Maybe if we lose 40 or we die straight up. Do we die to both stabbing? <laughs> His next damage against both stabbing is very fishy, Beam is not even green. We have no starting lightning off, no bow lightning, no darkness. Recursion is only frost. Thunder doesn't work there. We do, however, have strike dummy and four energy, so this deals 12, this deals 9 each. So even beam set on the strike is a significant amount of damage, we have 20 reach. Yeah, honestly, right now I'm just thinking, like, what has a higher chance of killing automaton? Not that I do I want to have this elite or not. Because I don't actually care if I had to skip this elite. If the shop kills me, automaton for me more often. Uh, but we do gain triple deck with prop as well, yeah? If I go right side, bone chance 50%. Two hundred sixty-seven is not enough to buy um, rare relic. It's very unlikely to buy uncommon. The base price of uncommon is 275. Just, yeah, yeah, exactly. Just click this in Act 1. Exactly. It does not include the always. I know because I am fairly careful whenever I talk about Spire with the word always in it. I am actually very mindful of that, yeah? It's like when I give out advice, I do not say always do this, always do that. Ever. <laughs> so when you quote me in the sentence, you could always, I'm always like, uh, okay. Here I say always. <laughs> Yeah, when you quote me in the sentence includes an always regarding spy advice, I am like always uh, a little bit, uh, you know, suspicious. Yeah, three fights. We cannot see Centenary Mystic. We cannot see um, Zenko. So Chosen plus one possible. Chosen plus one kind of annoying, but we have Mushroom. Dagger is fairly big. Uh, baseball Sentry is free. 
I mean, maybe not that free, but it doesn't really damage us beyond the mid too much. Snake plan turn one damage and then it stops. Uh, Avocado rest, same story, turn one damage and it stops. But maybe slightly more than snake plan sometimes. But we don't really die from around 25 or so, yeah? Yeah, that's fine, ideally. Otherwise, we also waste our mid, uh, mid value as well. But I think I do take this MP5. Capacitor is only a pick, and we have so many things to make this lineup. And a small brick with the mid and the bone can be carried to Act 3. And right now, maybe it's necessary to get automaton sometimes. It's really weird to pick this, though, because it's stolen. It would be a rare card to be stolen from by the minions, yeah? And then if I draw Defect early, I'm not playing it or what? If it all defect before the amplify, I mean, just not playing it, you know, to hologram it later. That sounds like fishy as hell. Because then I need to draw both amplify, uh, I need to draw both the hologram and the amplify on the same hand. <laughs> oh, that's like so fishy. It does suddenly make our stolen... It, it's like yeah, we play one defect and we wait for the second defect to be amplified. It's uh, something we can do. In order to stall for the ritual deck or uh, way down the line or even inside the fight after they did. <sighs> I think no no, I'm taking the elite for sure. It's just that uh, do I take this amplify or not? Because right now it's like only block and unreliable block. Yeah. It does not do any damage. Ah, skipping here. Ah, skipping here. Time against Automaton is limited, yeah? But taking this is not good either. Oh, to be fair, I can also just take this thing, get my 9 go, and then go uh, to the shop. Yes. <laughs> Uh, and yes, if we see Twike or Red Mask Bandits right now, they are good. Because of uh, the HP we have in potions still unused. And we are guaranteed to have two potions into the Automaton this way. Otherwise, we fire pot the thing. Oh yeah, what, what relics, what shop relic can we see? Not Frozen Eye. Um, the second shop relic was... Spoon, okay. So, no spoon, no frozen eye. Runic capacitor still in there. Uh, toolbox still in there, Orary still in there. Only these three, right? That makes a meaningful difference in Automaton. So, that's around 1 out of 5. And real against Automaton, okay, yeah, okay. Real against Automaton actually plays. Cannot say had real useless in that fight. I don't know whether I'm desperate enough to buy it, though. Uncommon relics, only mummified hand, but it doesn't actually kill automaton for us. Uh, I guess maybe you can uh, kill like kunai, shuriken, or whatever. Not shuriken, uh, mostly kunai. You can buy a power. Schrodinger, that's it. Thank you props up, wish you luck. In kitchen, mesmerize, deep, careful analysis. Yeah, thank you. <sighs> yeah, this shop just doesn't. It doesn't cut. Is it one out of five or something? So uh, the question mark needs to give me something as well, which is not. Yeah, which is uh, not even that high of a chance. Oh, I fight the elite. Oh, this amplifier is so fishy though. It's like fishy as hell. Maximum block output we have is around 30 per turn. And the amplifier does improve block output. It actually decreases our damage. And it makes the elite fight more dangerous. Maybe not. Maybe just skip and then... Hopefully the next three falls give something. Yeah. 
Maybe just skip this and hopefully this give me real cards. Eh? Because if I see a capacitor, for example, I do not need to amplify. If I see a loop, same story, I don't need to amplify. And without this, the amplifier is not good enough. Yeah, of course it's book. At least it's not giving me the bad pattern, but book here is not um, very good. We can however do the frag zap, uh, hollow zap, yeah? Book sucks, yeah, book sucks. Phone chains right now is at 50. So I can't see even using deck spot. And we do, yeah, the, uh, the frag zap, hollow zap. That's 4 energy. Block 5, lose 9. Yeah, go both uh, below mid range. But we deal a decent amount of damage. And Zap is better to play than the Strike here. When, yeah, one passive and one evoke is already more than 12 damage. So I can see that. Oh yeah, Recursion as well with the Lightning. I want to keep the new lightning for a while though, so maybe we do... So maybe we do cool headed and then... Um, yeah, cool headed first, C, and then maybe we do cool snap into recursion and put the lightning at the very back. Yeah, so now I put the lightning in the back. Uh, 33... Yeah, am I dreaming? Because we actually dealt so far actually decent damage, yeah? Because of double zap opening. How's that way was try? Yeah, how's that way was try? <sighs> yeah, because double zap on turn 1 and defect on turn 1 of damage actually is not so behind here. So am I dreaming or not? Because blocking 35 and 42 the turn after is not impossible. So we actually have ourselves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 turns to kill this. Yeah, I dream, yeah? I am dreaming. Also, I say, but uh, with this draw, maybe it's like not too easy to block. Also, a good deck spot, at least. I don't think I'm rebounding anything here. I don't think I'm playing the dual cast either, though. Yeah, dual cast here blocks for 9, loses before next turn, and if I evoke with the uh, Coast Nami, it loses to be 7. So I can do this. Also next and defrag, but we do have block next turn. So I can do defrag equi coast nap for example. Uh 27 and taking 8 more. That's okay, yeah, because expectation is taking 30 against book. Um and then we go to 28 HP. Right now we have only taken 26. Yeah, right now we have only taken 26 if we play defense strike. And next turn we know we have um, 18, 15, 33 block. Actually, that takes 9 more. Mm. Only 3 wounds of reboot now is so not the worst idea. Then reboot, I might not even play the defense, but I... I could be. I don't think I'm even playing this defense. Because otherwise if I play defense I'll take 8 and next turn I play these 3 I'm taking 9 damage. So that is a little bit too... too much. 
Oh, is it dead? If it's dead, I would kill it now. <laughs> and that would be way above, way above expectation. It is um, 49, 52, 70. Yeah, it's dead. And this is why you don't play your freaking defense first. <laughs> Yeah, nice defend. <laughs> oh, that's great. Bone chain is now 60. And we are still extremely healthy for the fights coming up. Mega Marble strip one layer against Automaton. Probably not super impactful. But it will be pretty good against Elite. Uh, the hallway fights. There was a darkness. But we absolutely picked Capacitor. In this spot. Yeah, darkness recur just nice and all. But this Capacitor is 100% being picked. Over that. I mean, I did expect here yeah, that we walk into here with like around 28 or so and we don't die. I walk into here with 40, so we are gaining one mid proc here. But yeah, I do not expect this fight to kill us from 28, so surely we never have problem from with 40. Right? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely right. We have mushroom as well. Eh? And now we of course we wait for a dagger plus. I believe or not? I believe. Oh, the effect sucks. Minus one. <laughs> Ow! Okay, now of course the fight is over. Yeah? So, yeah, me and the bone. Uh, this axe so far heals 84, about to heal 96. Twelve of the twelve of this is in Act One. <laughs> Certainly a, a relic, yes. Definitely a relic in this game. Stunning, probably not stunning. At some point, when that goes green, uh, it just dies instantly. And yeah, like, I'll try and dealing too much to stun this, basically. Like healing? No. Actually, uh, there was one fight where we took... Was there, was there a fight? Like the, no, the first one... Yeah, yeah, the very first one. The, the avocado very first one. We took 3 damage in order to heal. Um, so yeah, that is minus 3. Every other fight is real, real damage. 11? No, no, we never. We never took 11 to heal 12. I was saying that we can't take 11 to heal 12, but I don't do that. In, um... Like, a couple of floors ago. But the fight healing is the very first fight. When we block 18, Avocado hits us, um... Uh, 21. And then we heal 12. So, you can minus 3 from this. Otherwise, everything is real. <laughs> Which is pretty stupid. Because even after all this, we are still only like 40 something, yeah? After one rest. Uh, so close guy, but it uh, probably will never happen. <laughs> to start this, I mean. Because you yeah, have 4 damage again, so we deal 2 and then it gets 1 plate, so beam cell also kills. 
Yeah, it never happens. We cannot stun this without killing. Is that the only kind of dagger not green yet? It is. <laughs> but it's fine, guys. It's forced to happen now. Unless I play card draw for some reason, so do not play this. Yeah. Oh, potion. Only chance now is 40. Is that automaton soap? Uh, only three per cycle. Wow, that's really hot garbage, I'm telling you. No echo form, uh, no glacier. Who goes down? One cool headed only. It is over scaling damage. Okay, recursion. Okay, so fine. We have four, four force per cycle with the chill fan loot. Other choice, maybe fusion, uh, but we don't actually have that much draw to take advantage of this, even though we can keep the orb. And we have recursion. Only one compound driver, one quarter, one reboot. No, I think it's a blizzard, yeah? Yeah, I think I think it's a blizzard. Because our front load need is already uh, kind of taken care of with this bag of marble, ritual dagger, and the minion of bone. And I just want to escalate. scaling. Yeah, like... Bam. <laughs> not killing here, but we can kill the bird immediately. This is not green, but I don't really care. Die. Uh, so now we want to take two. Not super easy to do so in this fight, though. We we'll take... Uh, only two. Uh, only one. Actually, we need to take one. Or oh, one is even more difficult. I can try. Maybe it's not so difficult if it's doing this pattern. <laughs> uh, this takes more than one though. Oh, wait, 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 no, no. Capacitor hologram cold stuff is taking... Oh, it's zero. Yeah, it's taking 26, not 28. Uh, why are we so strong, guys? Why do I have a mushroom? If I don't have a mushroom, taking one is so easy here. And the one here is never 31 though, because we have uh, this relic. I guess we can do still do this capacitor force, or when it's doing this pattern again, we have 26, uh, and we rock 24, so we can take two. Now if we cannot take this one damage, it doesn't matter, it's fine. Don't need to take the one damage that badly. Okay, he is vulnerable, so maybe we can do something next turn. Ah! Oh, when you want to big kill, when you want it to big hit, but it doesn't big hit, guys. Okay, so we can never take damage from here, yeah? Because... Master, yeah, yeah, it does, it does. I only play this lightning though, so now it's too late. Because it's dead, the next time it swings big. So, uh, we can never take this damage. <laughs> it's fine, guys. Wait, it's not fine. Next force, Automaton. Oh, I thought we have one more fight to save the beat, but apparently we don't. Um. Okay, so playing Zap is dumb, yeah? That's basically the conclusion. Actually, I, I genuinely thought that it was one more floor. <laughs> so I don't pay uh, too much attention to that, but that's actually kind of stupid. And now there's no way to take this damage because it doesn't do the make hit distance, it does multi hit instead. Yeah, there's actually no way to take this damage now. It's dead. Ah, uh, yeah, cold snap, sure. 
After Blizzard, I just add more force. We have uh, double defect plus. Duplication potion. Well, the fire pot has been. I uh, has been with us all this while. But maybe now it's time for it to go, guys. <laughs> we throw away the fire pot, open a tropic brew. <laughs> And then uh, take the duplication and then another potion. Or if you say five is above average because we can kill a minion uh, in automaton fight, we can do open and tropic brew immediately and then deciding between the one potion and the five pot. Because duplication potion definitely is taken, yeah. What's the upgrade, by the way? Um, my gut feeling is that it's actually the blizzard. I can also see upgrading like capacitor. If we say automaton fight will go super long, but after adding like also this and this and this, uh, two of two slots should be enough. How important is this five point? Uh, we have no wait. Do we have no rare card? Wow, we have a reboot and that is it. Ah, so they can actually steal some the uh, defract blizzard or something, yeah. It is still thunder is really bad. Duport focus? No, no, Duport is stronger than that. You can do capacitor also. You can also do blizzard sometimes. It's flexible. <laughs> you do not need to do your defract like a monkey. <laughs> you can do other things. You can even do breach your dagger for a 90 damage burst. Yeah, yeah, you can even hold on until I found loop dagger against spear and shield. That is true. That is actually just true. I mean, five points is actually not that important in that fight. Uh, now that we have Blizzard. Double hold also. I think I tossed five points and opened this. Okay, so flex is useless. I mean, not useless, but not mm, better than this. Uh, yeah, I can upgrade Blizzard, can rest. I think I upgrade. Can also upgrade. Mm, Capacitor and Blizzard are both slow, slow upgrades. The fast upgrade in here would be the reboot. Or the go headed. But uh, upgrading this against Red so is not actually so bad either. It's fine. Are you probably tropic brew? Because I don't want to use my loop pot if possible. And I want to decide between uh, two potions and not only one. So yeah, defect equi cold snap. We do not use a loop uh, here, yeah. If we, if we dupe a power in this fight, it's going to be capacitor, not even defract. Yeah, if we actually choose to dupe a power in this fight, it will be this. Uh, is there any reason to equi over just playing 12 damage here? So we can do a cast next on the block forward. Yeah, maybe. Maybe put a strike on the minion instead. Whoa, 3 damage. Holy 3 damage. So they are stealing left is doing reboot and right is stealing uh, one of these, yeah? One of these three. Can be Sunder. Six, eight, so I'm taking two and yes, I like taking two. I should try plus here for playing Blizzard, yeah? <laughs> Just in case this guy is stealing my Sunder Capacitor, even the chill. Honestly, whatever this guy steals is going to be bad. I should put the... Uh... And Zap is probably better to play than the Blizzard still. Compound Driver is in here. And it's a decent amount of passive damage as well. Yeah, I'm stealing my Sunder. Uh, that's okay. 
Capacitor does not need to be green. I'll just play it now. Is green already. Like four, no problem. Hyper beam uh, easily block here, yeah? and I leave these guys open alive so that I can get maximum uh, damage for my blizzard oh, one damage off from <laughs> sundering this but I guess it's fine they go for me I would have to think about it I'm pretty close. Do I care about setting vulnerable on this with my blizzard already popping off? Um, drawing three, drawing four, and three energy only, but that's fine because you don't have that much draw. So maybe I do, yeah, maybe I do this instead. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So you have a hologram, yeah, so we can actually, both hologram actually. We full block this and we can uh, set vulnerable on this at some point. Ow. 30. Well, that's quite disappointing, but I mean... Could be worse, I guess. 33. Okay, fine. Slightly better. Uh, hollow beam cell now. Next one, hollow beam cell again. Yeah, no problem. Wow, I'm 49. It's not easy to block. I can also just play the blizzard, huh? Uh, this block is another 9, so 23. Yeah, that's full block. <laughs> Hyper Beam 70 damage next turn is not completely safe, though. I can kill it right now. But I want to dagger because dagger is green. And if everything goes wrong, I can do this and force it in front. I believe. Yeah, that's fine. Huh? To take this damage. Uh, 16, 40, 49, taking 21, yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah, 49, 21, no problem. Wow, I'm dead good. I'm mid. Uh, how was this fusion hammer? Not good enough, right? Yeah, this pyramid is way, way, way too strong. So we uh, pick the pyramid. <laughs> also, only swappers see pyramid here. Because uh, it's on the right. Yeah, long-term value. And you, you say this is not long-term value. Like, what? 
there's no way this fusion hammer is stronger, right? We have the ritual dagger pyramid, recursion pyramid, echo form pyramid, turbo as well for hand space. Uh, two energy in the hallway fight is a little bit annoying, but once again, middle of the bone got us, yeah? A mid. So, false parting, where is it? Who will it only? Uh, early shot is possible though, so it's not that bad. Oh, kind of annoying path though, too many question marks. I guess it's not that bad. That like here, 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 and then we've got it again, whether it's safe or not. And we can go early shot. We can also ignore early shot and go here instead, but uh, ignoring this shot is way better. This fight will be annoying. It doesn't really do anything harmful to us here, yeah? but it's annoying. <laughs> but I guess Echo Form is top deck now, so it's not so annoying. Because I can now kill this safely. And we just wait for Dagger to be green and kill this one. Yeah. Uh, nothing else to do. Yeah, nothing else to do. Wow. Uh, do not get baited by the pyramid. Yeah, do not get baited. <laughs> yeah, do not get baited, just click the card. <laughs> yeah, simply click the card and do not get baited by uh, some garbage recycle lines. Sweet potion over this teal, but with the pyramid, probably not. It's still, uh, yeah, it's still curse with two energy as well. Sometimes I can rebound something into the still chaos. And if we run to a problem, it's energy shortage and not the uh, draw. The only card that's really bad to play with the still chaos would be reboot. But if you are in a position where I use the still curse, it means our turn is like kind of garbage anyway. So maybe it's not so bad. Yeah, so I think we keep the potions, yeah. Chance are now 30. Okay, I take a break and then we talk about this shop. Because this shop is good. <laughs> Be right back.
Okay, so um, points of interest. Remove mirror apotheosis. Maybe discovery. How good is this apotheosis really? I with base cuts. Uh make the tongues slightly set. Unless we also buy a discovery and then it's like not too bad. And most of the important things are only green here, yeah? We do not care about hologram upgrade with um, the pyramid. Yeah, it's not very good. The uh, apotheosis. Also, uh, that is genuinely lacking real draw. It's lacking active draw. We do have Sentinel Puzzle. And we do have the pyramid. But beyond that, yeah, we have like one reboot, one co-edit, one compile driver. And that is all we have for drawing. And uh, output wise, we already have like echo form double diffract capacitor. So the output boost from Apotheos is not very needed. And yeah, the mirror um, is, of course, the thought. It will mirror reach the dagger, probably says the right for at least five is going to be fine. And we are fine for the majority of this act. In fact, dagger, most definitely dagger, but I, I will get to that. Because one, the thing yeah, is that first cycle, the heart, we probably do not die to whatever, because we have the mushroom and we have the pyramid. So, um, mirroring Richard dagger is definitely better than spear and shield. Like, that is certain. And for the heart fight, we believe that pyramid, echo form, and whatever would be enough output. And if that's the case, you don't need more top-end scaling. <laughs> so if I don't need more top-end scaling um, for the hard fight, and of course, actually top-end scaling, no need to extra than this. Yeah? This is more than enough. Then mirroring any defensive power, like the frag or capacity or echo form, doesn't make a ton of sense. If anything, there is an argument to mirror this glacier. Your dagger same like my dagger? No, no, they are uh, separate cuts. They scale. Uh, they each scale independently. They are both real. If you want to, uh, if you want to actually get your block, um, you actually mirror the glacier here instead. And this is uh, about the only thing I'm thinking about right now. Is that do I mirror glacier or do I mirror this your dagger? The okay, so also is a small amount of damage with Blizzard, but Richard Dagger fat load is so insanely much. Act for elites, no cell repair, beating the bone only plus 12. For hallway fights, the Rich Dagger is still just a better draw, right? Yeah, I just mirror Dagger. And it's just mirror on Dagger. And generally, I don't even care about this up right? So we just remove and move on. Unless you tell me to also take discovery. Uh, removing this part, is it zap or not? We do not, we no longer need the zap damage for long fights. The only value of the zap is that makes compound driver draw extra. The strikes are strike dummy buff, uh, beam cell buff, and the defense have some turn up value, maybe even in a hard fight. First cycle, uh, defense plus into hard fight actually block six. This is worthless. Your echo sufficient? Yeah, it's fine. One echo is enough. Not, uh, not that two echo is not good or anything, yeah? But the thing is that if this run dies in Act 4, for example, it's not because you don't draw your echo form. Specifically, if you get absolutely owned in Spear and Shield, it's usually because you don't draw your dagger. <laughs> or your Glacier, which is uh, the two mirror targets. And uh, for example, you're getting hit by 65 or whatever, turn 2, and now you draw your echo form. Yeah, you're crying. You draw a dagger, they are dead, you draw a glacier, you actually block. And way down the line, we do not need 3 echo form stacks to win the fight. It is not the type of run. <laughs> yeah, thinking about the fail conditions in Act 4, mirroring echo over this or this doesn't make a lot of sense. 
So I don't know, why not just see spikers every single floor and then get both? That's how actually it works, right? But no, the real answer is that with the duplication motion, I do think I want to focus on Necker. If possible. If it's not possible, of course, I just get my thing and get out, yeah? But if possible, I do want to build up a Necker until it one shot with the dupe pot. But I do not buy this apotheosis. The only reason for this zap to stay in the deck would be the compound driver. Not a very good reason, no. I do not even mind just recurring force forever, yeah. And uh, Strike is a better run to Retomancer. Yeah, just remove the zap, right? And we leave, save or go, 200. So if I make enough gold here, I can even go to this shop too. Chess has gold, for example. Spending more gold here buying a relic, for example, can give us some red mask. But uh, I don't even care about red mask. It is also not a type deck where I care about the drawing discovery either. Like, the cards in our deck are good enough. If we draw into that. So, I don't care about any of these anymore, yeah. Let me leave. Oh, because there are two daggers, you can use one to front load one of these down. That's pretty nice. Cross deck. Hello, Frank Z. Uh, do not forget, yeah, once again, uh, we are still playing on two energy hallways here. So, Richard Egg, uh, um, mirroring echo form in these hallway fights are not going to <laughs> do much for you. But mirroring the dagger does a lot, as you can see just now. Like turn 1, being able to play the dagger to instantly kill, this is a freaking big deal. Great. Okay, but they go form and the blizzard, whatever doesn't matter too much. This side is already under control, so we get our dagger plus here for sure. Twenty-seven. I don't need to do anything, yeah? so I just sit here. So now I need to do something, but it's easy. Finally, it's here. Oh, 
pa. Ah, green, huh? We don't have energy, though. Know? It is a lot of draw, but we don't have energy. Even with the uh, caller. On the other hand, here's a loop. And if I pick this loop, it means our top and scaling is... It's done, even in a hard fight. We do not need any more block. If I take the loop. I should probably take the loop. <laughs> I should probably take the loop. Because I ha only have double dagger to deal with uh, the spear and shield. And this is a better draw on the hard fight. It's also a better draw in most of the fights in Act 3. Present potion... Probably not, right? Over the Steel Chaos. They just hover slightly above beat range for most of this act. And that's okay. You know, Wizard of God, thank you for good luck. Yeah, for example, if I even see like, double walkers here, I might need to use this. Fifty go for the still chaos. Uh, fifty go for my cold snap. I th I want my cold snap though. Yeah, I actually like my cold snap, so we pay fifty go. Yeah. That branch is fine. Yeah, it doesn't hurt so much. Fine, and two elites. Uh, still have one fire here, so recall and then upgrade loop if we need to. Uh, so what is this? Uh, 75, 90, um, 135. So I can remove here and be okay. And that one's when pyramid? No. I don't think about it though. And I have gotten it for a random before, yeah? Uh, it happened even on stream. But it was completely fine because I checked beforehand that uh, even if I get that branch, I'm okay. Yeah, because specifically it has to be from like either the Vagrant or Renwood. I guess Mausoleum sometimes too, yeah. Only a couple of events can force it in on you. Uh, how is this charge battery? Generally, it's not even bad. And we have Turnip as well in Act 4. Quite a good draw in hallway fight, not even a bad draw in the dangerous fights either. Cost only 21 gold. <laughs> the adventurer, yeah, the adventurer. No, no, the wheel. I think you can turn down the relic from the wheel, right? I mean, you can get a relic, but can you turn it down? I don't actually remember. I don't actually remember whether you actually turned down the relic after seeing what it is. Uh, uh, whatever, doesn't matter too much. Even if it's uh, forcing you, it's not a very high chance. It's the same as Renwick. Uh, purity for hand clock is a, a potential thing, but the thing is that beyond besides the base cards, our deck does not actually have very bad cards. Eh? Like, these are all good I want to keep in my hand. <laughs> these are all good I want to keep in my hand. So it's only about maybe uh, a wound or something. But it's not a good draw in Act 4 fights. And um, yeah, future scaling. It's basically kind of like a really shitty turbo. This is what it is. It's a really bad turbo. So uh, maybe just pick a turbo instead. Oh yeah, I have more gold as well from the fish. Uh, and sometimes chest has gold. Better man, so we double dagger now and the thunder and the pyramid and the blizzard. I shouldn't be scared, so we don't care about this. But I can see doing charge battery and just remove for 125. Removing in this spot is on. Honestly, probably a yeah, defend. That should probably be defend. And they keep the strike for some potential retro low rolls. Next remove, if I make it, would be a strike, though. But this remove I do defend. Especially after I buy this, yeah. Because I do think I buy this. Uh -oh. 
There's a burning Retomancer can happen. It would be slightly annoying if it actually happens. <coughs> if we draw Echo Form Blade in this fight, we actually can have a little bit of problems. Um. Oh yeah, it's not that bad. I can take two here if I want to. I don't care about the slow damage, so I think I can do even do this first. Yeah, I take two damage here, right? To play defense right strider. Yeah. We do not take damage here for a while, and um, there is a the turbo is here to uh, play the echo form safely in one turn. So not a massive problem. I do think I played this defray. Right. Right, it goes here. And yeah, we play the echo. Yes, turbo allows one safely echo play. 19, so it's working. Another echo is in play, we can double some other powers like yeah, this one. And we still have a refract and the capacitor still. So now we are okay. Here's a bigger dagger and I want to use this to kill. But I may just play strike first. Yeah, now of course we E to E. Can never deal damage anymore. Somehow we have dagger plus. Yeah, double dagger would kill, yeah. Also having the loop, um, Having like two quote unquote off slots, like both the loop and capacitor, and having two focus uh, with double diffract is convenient because you can see in a fight like this where maybe we draw, uh, maybe do need to set our defense fully, but uh, echo form is potentially drawn late. You can still just play one of the power to, yeah, one diffract and one loop, for example, to gain extra fat load block, and then we scale afterwards. I think, yeah, 70 is maximum. It never goes above 70. Okay, sure, we just lose every single row until this is the last one, but yeah, it cannot avoid uh, <laughs> the inevitable. Oh, more bank after we spend all our gold. That's actually quite nice. It does shut down this shop, but um, it does mean the Act 4 shop is very real now. Oh, here's an aggregate. Uh, and yes, I think I take this. At some point we have... Um, yeah, again, yeah? Maybe uh, not enough draw like, very soon. So I would like to see, you know, a scheme. Some more cool headed. Yes, now that I have the aggregate, the hit things plus can come back. I welcome it. <laughs> Alright, 
Monka. I mean, good thing we have double dagger here at least, but this fight is still uh, kind of scary. Yeah, but rebound beam cell. I don't need to rebound beam cell, right? And I kind of need the six damage. If I just do beam cell into attack, attack, attack. Yeah, but rebound the beam cell, yeah? We have 12 and then 15, 15, 18, 33, 33, 46. I'm taking two. I don't need to take two. But I think I just won't. This fight is uh, spooky. <laughs> Even with this fight, it's still spooky as hell. Because we, yeah, we don't have this in hand, don't have this in hand, don't have this in hand, don't have this in hand. So currently, I'm taking uh, quite a lot, yeah. If I draw the void immediately, still fine, right? I want to save laser for next turn. 1, 2, 3, uh, 39, yeah. Okay. Maybe then I can play Glacier because it's hollow Glacier guarantee now. There's a void in my draw. And there's a void in my draw. I take five here, because yeah. I don't have a guarantee full block next turn yet. No, oh, that was actually dangerous <laughs> and no dagger proc. Uh, Bullseye plus, yeah, it doesn't do anything. We don't even have off damage. We actually have zero off damage in this deck. Like it's only frost. <laughs> no starting off, no dark off, only frost. Uh, Zap is removed. This Bullseye is doing uh, nothing. And the recurve is only frost, so yeah, we skip. <laughs> Very funny head, yes. She uh, doesn't die. Yeah, it's 81 into 96, she doesn't die. We take 9, right? Like 18, yeah, it doesn't kill her though. Like even if I reach a dagger here right now, 81 and next turn we 128. Actually, 81, 128 is killing. Yeah, it actually is killing. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking it doesn't kill, but it actually kills. Rack, no, no, we uh, have lethal next turn. I reach a dagger on Red Man, so we play Echo Form next turn, dagger plus is she's dead. The only problem is our Nanjaku goes to 0, but uh, we have perfect beat range. Take 18 or 43, heal 12, no problem, she's done. And so this is why we beat a freaking dagger. Uh, so yeah, 81 followed by another 128, yeah. It's 200 and double check, because if this fails, I die. 81, uh, 128. It's 209 HP, and she only has 198. Oh yeah, she's dead. I will just play Echo Form, we should go on her, take 18.
That pulls our Richard Dagger to perfect damage. Look at this. Holy. Oh, uh, this is why you don't pick your recycle minus with um uh yeah with the uh over the glacier because he has a recycle plus. <laughs> Am I even taking this? Like let's let's be real here. Am I actually taking this recycle? Because on the other hand I can take the overclock instead. If I say that every get the uh, four base energy, every get um, charge battery and turbo. Enough energy already. And I just want to draw into my things, you know. Like, like for the recycle, I would draw in either fight, you know, in early turns. Maybe a little bit if you need to play Echo Form. Yeah, I guess whenever you draw Echo Form in your bottom deck, the other energy is useful. And it does give you hand space in order to play, uh, you know, the tech puzzle freely. And then this still chaos can uh, be a thing. And yeah, overclock if you... Basically, if you think about the worst... Uh, the very, very, very bad draw orders. Where you bottom deck all your good cards and your top deck uh, all the base cards. And no energy. And you get head clock a little bit. Then the recycle is there for you. When the recycle is a bad draw... It is still bad, but it is not like completely disastrous, basically. It's not the worst case possible. And it is green. I mean, green is a... Green green is a... Pretty appealing thing, yeah? Green is good. Attack, yeah, definitely not over this. We want Act 4 Potion. Ideally, the game is blue, but of course you cannot choose. <laughs> Recall first, in case you need to open the rest. Uh, and I do go this way in case I do need to visit the shop. If somehow after these two fights we are in trouble. Like we'll break the mob bank immediately if we need to. Six more for the thing, yeah. As you know, take four more, you only four. I still want the clock say get the second dagger, so let's do this. I do not accept that. This is 22, so I'm taking 5, and I want to take 4. I guess it's good enough. Vulnerable is exactly the annoying thing. And I cannot keep an Anshaku Wari rolling either. Also, this is not even green yet. 
I guess I can do just do this and <laughs> wait until he lets up. But if the does cost me, then I need to break the chaku. Yeah. It is a, doesn't matter what the attack is. Yeah. So I can go around, I guess. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Yeah, next and up was trying to single dagger and it works. ATR don't want, Sunder don't want, Rebound don't want, so skip. This compound rival is actually just drawing one card, yeah, it cannot draw more than one card, that's quite sad. <laughs> I can never draw more than one card. Really? Like three more then somehow? Um This only takes one though. But maybe it's fine. Like take two. Yeah yeah, it's doing the same thing again, take another two, and then it works. In the bone. He's a bigger dagger, right? So, uh, yes, I can just kill him now. Yep. I yeah, don't need barrage, don't need second blizzard, don't want sipping beam. Don't need the shop either. 222 go, so we continue this way. Unless you tell me we want a question mark now. We have seen, um, Shop and red wit, so we have no information regarding this question mark. Man is empty, red mask empty. Holding to have all base cards, but any power is bad. If it does for reach deck or power plus like glacier or something, you can get on. Both rival events are very, very good, of course. Sensory stone is excellent. Also, another regen pot, yes. Oh, I just take hallway fight for consistent um, dagger boost and maybe card draw. Let's do hallway fight. Oh yeah, double dagger hit if we don't die. It's currently uh, kind of dying. <laughs> yeah, currently kind of dying, taking 34. And uh, unfortunately, there's no kill in hand. Even with Nanchaku set up and the letter Punner, there's no kill here. Because we draw exactly the hand that does not do it. 20, so 20 goes up to 32. 32 go up to 44. And 44 can rest to 70 or so, if we want to rest. So taking this hit is not uh, like the worst thing possible, yeah? And I do think the Tilker is worth more than, more than that. I just take this hit. If it's 51, I will use pot, but 34 I can deal with. Because this relic is still here. <laughs> yeah, 
so uh, Sunder Defrag and turn. Ow. Of course, we are dying this turn and I would need the potion. But we also can kill this here. And that goes in hand. Uh, we can always use Dagger to kill here, even if it's not green. Otherwise, yeah, recycle, maybe we can have it. I definitely want to get double dagger here. Um, both of them being green. And for right now, the fight is like no risk. <laughs> I'll probably play the chill instead, huh? Can you upgrade like one deck already so I don't have to sit here and do this? <laughs> and I kill one of them first. Otherwise that's scary as hell. Okay, here's our dagger. Second, who added? Yes, of course, we take so that goes uh, 84 and 59. Okay, ah, no dagger here. Uh, actually, fight double transient. Yeah, pretty sad. I hope that we don't take damage here either. Though. This fight is one of the fights that maybe we can take uh, zero. To heal full within the bone. At the same time, we can also be forced to use pots. But Richard Dagger in here covers for one turn already, so that's not too bad. It's a bit too early to use this dagger though. Oh yeah, the recycle is here. Taking two, uh, maybe for the best. After this, I we have free energy uh, with this, yeah. <laughs> but suddenly, it has caused some problems.
Because one turn double glacier, the other turn double dagger. Is it too late? One, two fights only, so it's 13 block. By the time we get to the heart, it's 19. <laughs> so, uh, one is the block 13 in Spear and Shield, one is the block 19 in the heart. Which is actually positive, by the way, yeah? with the uh, third deep especially, first cycle. One is the block 19, no problem. <laughs> this will be very funny if I pick it here. Literally at 448. And block 13 is basically a leap plus, yeah? Not exactly the best thing to draw on Spear and Shield, but not the worst thing. Uh, are we resting? I think we are resting, eh? Right? Yeah, I think we are resting. I would like the upgrade loop. Uh, so if we say that boss card is never a problem making up with the loop now and then rest next 4. But it's not urgent, yeah, it's not needed either. I can also just uh, ignore the subject completely and rest two times. So yeah, uh, we double dagger already, yes. Yeah? So, um, we don't respect me and shield as much. We still we still want to respect them, of course, but not as much. And in the hard fight, it's actually a good draw. Oh, I say it's good, but uh, generally speaking, it's not that good. But any glacier is better, any echo form is better, any defrag is better. It is, however, block, fat load block um, that we don't have otherwise. Yeah, it's only glacier and glacier before focus, not actually blocking that much. Yeah, Dr. Dead Knight? What's this? Yeah, the question is it too late? The answer is no. On floor 48. <laughs> I'm resting here. Yeah. Otherwise, 54 into boss gauntlet, uh, but time eater can also destroy me on turn 1, and then everything sucks. Uh, Donut deck cards sometimes can get a little bit weird. Awaken 1, maybe bottom deck deckers is getting weird as well. Usually not. Otherwise, losing 1 upgrade for all 10 HP into act 4. Probably around 10. Maybe less than 10. But yeah, again, okay, we also have a lot of gold to cash in, so uh, don't want to die. Yeah, especially in case it does this. Yeah, only taking quite a bit. I can do a cast here, and we take um, three. Sure. Yeah, with this pattern, uh, I would say I'm happy that I rested. So we're starting with draw now and we haven't drawn Echo Form turn 2 yet. And no block in hand currently. Uh, so it's 84 big end of 89, 93, so looping Richard Dagger actually kills. Or do we build this dagger now to make it 69? 69 and the looping 69 is still killing the shield. Looping the 84 is 100 and next five is a multi enemy anyway, yeah? so we can probably get double dagger. But sometimes we are forced to get plus 3 in uh, Awakened 1 and not plus 5. Sometimes you're also forced to get plus 3 in Dodo Decker though. So 87, for example, looping the 87, 174. 174 is always instantly killing the shield. But against the spear, we are 30 something damage off if it gains shield on turn 1. But looping that big dagger into small dagger is still killing, no matter what. Yeah, I think now it's time to get the small dagger so that we can actually instantly kill the shield, you know? With the loop pot. If the draw doesn't line up. Which means I don't play the dagger now. Basically, what happens? And we'll play this defrag. 
I don't think I rebound cold snap, but we draw only four next one, so maybe I do. Yeah, maybe I actually do. Oh, sorry, yeah, this is why we rested, huh? A mushroom. If I draw echo form here, I can do aggregate the uh, glacier echo form still, and that doesn't really die because we have mushroom. So I just end turn here and play three cards next turn instead of propping clock right now with awkward hand because I don't want to play any of these. Oh, yeah. So Nib as well, it goes up to what? Base is 34, 34 is 30... No, base is 32, 32 goes to 34. 34, 1 of 4 plus 8, 42 only. We can block 20. So I play defend and take 1 and set the equi in hand. Um, yeah, probably not. We want to take 5. And here's echo form. Nineteen, so yeah. If I do turbo defend now, it's uh, it's taking six, and that's okay. But I, we want a small dagger in this fight. Yeah? So I can't even do beam cell dagger right now. If I should beam cell here, so that if next time it debuffs me, I just double dagger and split. Otherwise, I double loop next time to single dagger. Oh, I double defend. Yeah, not drawing these is pretty annoying. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, like old force bottom, uh, no more block either, yeah. Taking so much more though if I keep pushing. Taking six more if I push now. So suddenly we are in maybe danger next fight without potion use. 126. Uh, this is not actually pushing it to splitting range. 126, 157, 157, 170, so even that is not splitting. Pushing, yeah, next time we only draw 3 cards though. And then we can no longer even force a split. My loop is still not down. Ah, uh, let's just take 6 more, yeah. Oh. Okay, so now we can double loop and then split. So now the fight's over. But yes, annoying fight. How's him doing? Yeah, it's on a Z block uh, 19 in the heart. So I pick it. <laughs> What's wrong with on a Z block 19? Don't see any problem. Yeah, look at this. It's 1, and now it is 7. <laughs> After the next fight is 13, so it's a leap plus, that's so actually stronger. And in the hard fight, it can be 19. Or 15. 15 is also fine, yeah? Like, people say power 2 is so freaking broken, and he's honestly blocked 15, uh... And maybe you don't want it. Why? <laughs> I want it. Also, I do not need to double this cup as a plus, but I will. Wonder Goons with Pyramid. You want the Goons. Oh, 
Once again, I do not need to double this, but I will. <laughs> because screw Tabito, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? You probably know what I mean. Screw Tabito. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, I know. Is that, uh, it's not going to be played though. I mean, you can't play it here, but uh, I want to play double beams here instead. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can make the blizzard happy. Also, yeah, while we rest it, otherwise we go, we are at, uh, rest is what, 25. So otherwise it would be at 21 now. Which is okay, yeah, 21. It is slightly sp uh, scary though. Uh, in fact, we are at 21 right now, we are dead. <laughs> so, uh, this potion saves us. The, uh, this, this rest saves this potion for now. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I rest, I am not forced to play the Tilkers. And even the Tilkers doesn't guarantee that I can survive this turn, yeah? So sometimes we actually just die here now. Boss squad rank tier list. Uh... I don't remember. Probably not me. I don't remember Baylor has done definitely done that tier list before. Though. So maybe it's him. Hey, yeah, echo form. Um... Man, I still want this dagger to be green, no? First of all, sixty nine, uh, and secondly. You know, 69 is good. <laughs> I do not overdraw either. I just waste my nunchaku energy, but the chill is stronger. And this still one shot is even without a form. Wow. Actually, we have died. <laughs> Actually, we have died, guys. But uh, crazy. If we do not rest with uh, this kind of draw order. <laughs> Angry by two and defend blocks the five, as in blocks three. Which means that uh, in order to survive, I have to not play the echo form. And then I live on one. Now, that certainly seems a losing fight. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is definitely severe. That definitely seems a like losing fight to be. Now, to be fair, we are not even safe yet. Yeah? Because next one it goes in with multi, and uh, I don't have my full block in hand yet. I currently do not have my full block in hand. If I double defrag right now into the chill, um, how much is that? It gains another... So it gains uh, 60 damage next turn and I gain uh, 12 block from this. So I'm losing 6. Of course I can double defend plus. This turn I am blocking in total... This is uh, 6, is so 18 only. Which means I'm not even full blocking this turn. Hmm. Hey, apparently this fight is still dangerous, yeah? With Echo from turn 1 just because we don't have enough HP. And, uh... Yeah, the Frost Orbs are not in hand yet. <laughs> like, we draw some, some garbage and not Frost. Double Chill is, uh... Full blocking this turn easily. It's just that my next turn is more difficult to block. And, of course, my top end is lower. Next turn, how much am I facing? He's doing... If I only play single defractor. 
Yeah, I'm playing single defect. He has uh, six strength, so six strength is forty-eight in total. I block for twelve here, plus uh, sixteen, twenty-eight. So I do not die next turn, and then I have to fight under control, kind of. I should probably double chill and see whether I can block next turn with double defect or not, because double defect right now is not safe at all. So I should double chill. And then, uh, yeah. Turbo... Probably aggregate over turbo with reboot, sometimes it's forced to be played. Well, I have to do this now. Oh, man. So Defrag Defend here is full block this turn, but next turn no one will have Defend Plus in hand, yeah? But maybe it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it is fine. A bit scary though, it is fine. Twenty one, twenty six. Yeah, we never die this turn. Maybe take more damage, though, but we never ever die. Let's recycle the turbo now. Yeah? Okay, we are fine. So unfortunately, we do not have our um, small dagger to get our 69. It's tragic, but it is 67. 67 noob is still enough to kill shield though, so it's not that bad. That's pretty tragic. Also yeah, one energy block 13. How bad is this? Not so bad. The leap, yeah. It's a leap plus and uh, by the time we get to hard fight, it will be 19. And 19 I absolutely do not mind at all. Also, yeah, if the person asking, uh, talking about like you lose to a wicked one on defect uh, before, yeah, just play your powers. <laughs> just play your powers, you'll see that we're blocking uh, completely fine now. The danger part of the dangerous part of this fight actually before we pay our powers, not after. <laughs> yeah, I just outscale the bird. Literally true. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 13. So yeah, we uh, full block every single turn now. With all frost. Bottom deck exactly the recycle, but I guess we can do this instead. <laughs> I 
Yeah, Frost, yeah. Frost is a... Uh... I wouldn't say it's the only orb, but Frost is the strongest orb. The most commonly used. Like if your entire deck is lightning, you die. If your entire deck is dark, you die. If your entire deck is plasma, you die. If your entire deck is frost, yeah. You're fine, you're okay. Okay, alternative and frost, yeah, plenty. It's just uh, if frost is the most is the most easily accessible because you have common cards. And you don't need to rely on relics or rare cards or whatever. You play common and common, maybe some potions, and it works for you. Otherwise, yeah, sometimes energy gen to reinforce body. Sometimes um, just a genetic algorithm front load, and you deal enough damage. Sometimes you have. Uh, like just uh, go with the ice weakness into blocking the draw value like the equi echo form or charge battery yeah frost is the most uh, is the easiest to build though also you have two common cards as generate frost so it's like it's simple to pick in the early game yeah, of course some other some relics yeah like sometimes you have a reprogram then run not very common if you pick frost like degeneratively next one but it can happen <laughs> yeah, yeah, everything else requires you to maybe uh, either high roll some um, even Snackle Meteor Strike. Yeah? Some uh, infinite um, hologram as well can happen. And they usually require you to pilot the deck uh, slightly better. Which is, you know, a tall ask. Okay, big shop. Um, so we can cash in. Yeah, I didn't expect to be missing around 10 uh, if I do not rest in Act 3. Well, I mean, better be missing SP than that. But I can also rest here again for 13. Because the Tongs got my upgrade. I always say that we go to beat range and speed shield anyway in the upgrade loop instead. But. If the spear and shield fight goes well, we don't lose a single point of HP. Loop up with is pretty big for the hard fight though, it's like... Quite important. And yeah, if, we, if the fight goes well enough, we don't need to take meat, then I would say that... It's okay regardless, we might not need this the 13, because we have mushroom first cycle as well. Uh, yeah, loop up with can also save a lot of HP inside the spear and shield fight. So I just do that, yeah? I just do that. I'm going to loop. My oh, shop sucks. <laughs> wow, this shop really sucks. Actually, it doesn't suck that much because I see uh, a pretty cool thing here that we can do. Like we buy uh, violence. Has to be actually pretty good, right? If the uh, entire thing about spear and shield that we draw the re one ritual dagger and the fight is done, <laughs> why not have this card? Also, we do not need happy foul. It doesn't play in spear and shield. Uh, we only have energy gen one, two, three, four. And after I buy violence, removing strike also make it stronger. Three strike, no, no problem. Three strike means I don't draw three strike the turn after. And maybe if I have every hit in hand, I can just empty hand immediately. No problem with three strikes. Yeah, 
And yeah, remove is over this relics, yeah. Remove strike. So definitely want the deck puzzle this turn. We can do beam cell hollow beam cell to get vulnerable on the spear. So if I draw a ritual dagger next one can loop and kill instantly kill it. Don't have yeah, yeah it's true. I mean we can block 29 but just we, we must take puzzle this turn. We cannot even choose to not take puzzle. But I want the deck puzzle anyway. See, now I know, uh, I mean, sometimes I get debuff focus, I guess, but if it debuff strength, then it doesn't work. I can also just do, uh, let's say, like, equi... I think beam cell holo beam cell is pretty strong, though. I don't need to play the beam cell now, yeah? But having the beam cell plus uh, in hand is a good thing. Because it also gives me maybe another line of vulnerable here on turn 3. While well, blocking this turn 2 is only 40 something damage. It's not like crazily hard to block. So that would be what? I don't think I want to rebound anything, yeah? So we do beam cell, hollow beam cell, play equi, play cold snap. Blocking for... Uh... 18. And... 15 58 58 is still above mid range so we can finish the fight flawless afterwards i would like to and your yeah, potion doesn't happen this turn yeah yeah beam cell hollow beam cell hollow coast lab is uh slightly appealing because it means that we don't fold energy rebound still in hand for the beam cell just that i cannot really I don't have a lot of room to instant kill this next turn, kind of. Right? Because a small dagger doesn't kill. The big dagger is still killing with Newport, but the small dagger doesn't. Uh, and I gain one force orb to make maybe a defect draw stronger, but that's about it. I think I beam cell... I do the artifact chip line. I don't want to rebound cold snap or anything, yeah. Don't play this yet. Um, do I play the rebound or not? It's 12 damage. Uh, would, is there anything I would like to rebound next turn? Would be a glacier... Is that rebound glacier into co headed uh, glacier with energy boost can happen? And we do not have active draw beyond one. We only draw one card, so we will co draw one. Um, Compound will draw one. So having full hand with 10 is not a massive issue. I guess making hand space so that I can play violence is okay too, because we if we draw like violence and no dagger, yeah? I would need to. Beam cell first, and my hand is currently... Violence only pull two attacks. I need to pull the full three. I guess playing rebound now is like not that bad. You have an idea. Wow. Yeah, 13, so it blocks a little bit, but this is uh, a bit too much damage, I would say. And we didn't draw dagger or glacier. So is this time for distilled chaos or not? But even the distilled chaos does not, doesn't necessarily save us HP. If I just take this hit, like how much is it? We block 13 here, and yes, of course I use it now. So I have echo form, defrag, cold snap, algorithm. This blocks for 3 is, so that's currently 6. 6 is 19. 19, 15, and taking 25. 25, 35, 35, heal up, uh, 12. It still because it's not guaranteed to save HP. And now of course we have the Echo Form in play. This guy blocks 30 though. We need to get the big dagger. I guess sometimes we can do double beam sound to small dagger is fine too. 
Um, is there any argument to use duplication potion? Is there any argument to use duplication potion right now on the algorithm to save? Um, if I duplicate on algorithm, we block 13, 16, 29, 29. 29 with diffract code snap 29 with diffract code snap would be 35 35 I'm facing 44 so I'm taking 9 damage 9 damage 47 47 need to take 4 more so this would save 12 so it's a block port if you do port on the algorithm now it's a block port uh, it closes the hour of Killing this next turn no? with the uh, dagger draw because I can still echo form the beam cell and then looping the dagger that I draw to instantly kill this. And I can still pull it with violence. Oh, not potioning here is like so scary though. But uh, I guess we have to walk into the hard fight with really low HP here. Once again, yeah, 13. 13 plus another 6, so it's 19. 19, we take 25 here to go to 33. 33, so we walk into the hardware with 45 HP. 45 HP potions intact, mushroom for cycle, turn for cycle, but um, a little bit scary if we bottom deck loop. Because uh, we don't really deal very well with bit of death here. And this block 16 only. And for cycle, extremely terrifying as, uh, as well. If we don't uh, draw echo form early. This Tilker is not easy to use in the hard fight either. Now the problem with this Tilker now is that if it hits a ritual dagger, suddenly we don't really have a lot of outs. Yeah, if it hits a ritual dagger on top 3, we don't have a lot of outs because it doesn't kill anything. And it is not even guaranteed to save any HP at the moment, like whatsoever. It's still so hard to use in a hard fight though, it's minus 6. Sure, so just minus 6 uh, front load, but I guess any defense is slightly better as well with the turnip. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a problem when we don't have active draw, yeah? you can see. Even with pyramid, like no active draw, turn 2 of this fight, you just get owned. <laughs> Um, and now also, uh, even if I do this, I still need to aggregate. So I still need to play aggregate algorithm defract first, and even echo form, and then I have to, and then I can use it because uh, it can hit reboot. If it hits reboot, uh, we're in trouble. If it hits reboot before I play the cast, we're in trouble. So I have to play the all the cast first, and then I play the steel chaos. Otherwise, at 45 HP. First cycle, hard is doing how much? The multi is 2 times 15 with the mushroom. 30 and the big hit is 45 plus 11, 56. 86 damage to block. And we have. Um... Oh, closes the owl. He is so annoying now. I guess Sunder is in hand, so I can actually just double dagger into Sunder, huh? Because I am I am seriously thinking about looping this algorithm now to save this 12, because otherwise first cycle of the heart looks terrifying. And we do not need this new pot so much in the heart fight. I say, no, no, I'm, you, I'm not even using the steel curse, I'm using loop pod. <laughs> I'm not actually even using the steel curse now, I'm using loop pod. Because loop pod is uh, concrete plus 12 for me. I was not sure if we double the loop, sometimes we cannot actually take damage because we can never get rid of frost off. So we have to wait until this guy debuff of first down enough until we take damage. Which can happen, we can stay here forever until he uh, debuff us down to potentially taking damage. 
because we are slightly above bit range if I duplicate this uh, algorithm now. Yeah, scary. Yeah, that's even with violence by end removing a strike and we still don't draw the thing this turn. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I think I do that. Need the thunder, right? Otherwise, if I draw dagger small, I cannot kill this next one. Ah, oh, okay. Double dagger big, kill this. Because otherwise, I cannot block. But yeah. Yeah, we would have, uh, yeah, you see, uh, this deal curse would save zero. Like, none. <laughs> You take 6 damage here. So if I have a clean way of taking 6 damage this turn immediately, I would do that. Let's say I double recursion blocking we turn around is doing 38. Because I can always double dagger here next turn is dead, yeah? And then uh, no problem. So I start the turn with double cool headed. I uh, yeah double quoted, double recursion, same story. But double quoted first. So we block for 6 here, and then block 12, block 12, block 21, that's still taking a lot. Controlling this to take 6 is not as easy, but I guess we have to settle for that. Double dagger here, kill. Next turn, uh, 44 damage with 2 burns on top. If I don't do anything, I'm taking 7. Uh, 7 is okay, but if I can maximize this on HP, I would like to. So, taking 6. Next turn, is attacking me for 48. And I still have all my focus, of course. So, I double this. Actually, I can hollow equi like now. If I hollow EQ now, next on 26, followed by another 9, that's 35, 35. We want to take 6, and it attacks 48 plus, so 52, yeah? 52, 26, 35, 52, so I want to block 46. Uh, doesn't really work. 26, 31, 31 is 40, 40, 40, 46, 46 is attacks um, 54, that takes 8, I need to take 2 less. I can recycle a burn. Actually, I can recycle a burn, so what would that be? That will, um... So if I hollow, if I recycle a burn, I take 50 next turn, yeah, I want to block 44. And we can double equi to block 26. Double equi block 26. Recursion block uh, 32. 32 and I have 41 here. 41, 46, 46. I'm facing 50. Oh, actually, yeah, I don't need to recycle, but it's perfect. Yeah, so double equi, single defend, and one recursion is perfect, right? 26, 31. 31, 40, 40, 46, 46, I'm taking 6 damage. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, I just full block this turn. And next time I do my thing. I need to draw both burns. I need to draw both burns. Uh, it should be easy. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, I can't do 41, and now I have 46, and he's hitting me with 52. That's perfect. Double check, 46, 42, yeah, minus 6, 43, perfect. Yep. Now, of course, we can kill here. Uh, I want to set up Nanchaku. So I would try to. This guy takes a very long time to outscale us. Like a very long time. Like just stay here. Uh, I need to play my attacks before the tongues up with them though. <laughs> We spot him with a sub and 18 buns, pretty sure lot. So now we double try Richard Ego and it's perfect, yeah? 55 HP on potion still remain. Ah, uh, no potion drop. Uh, Orichalcum can do something sometimes, but these are, yeah, these are no cards. So we skip. Well, 55 is pretty scary. <laughs> 55 is actually pretty scary. At least we do not waste this potion, no? Because if I use the potion here, first of all, the fight is not anything. It doesn't do anything, yeah? On the turn where... On turn 2, Spear and Shield, this potion would do nothing. And then against the... Um, and immediately afterwards, I still need to use my potion, duplication potion. Otherwise, I go to like 35. So I swear I just throw away this still chaos. If uh, I use it on turn 2. And uh, upgrading loot over resting also justify because we go to below mid range anyway. So, so far, Act 4 decisions are good. You can still also go into the hard fight and die. <laughs> Hopefully not, but these are not it. Yeah, these are not it. Uh, top deck loop makes Ori Kalkum sad. But of course I draw with my thing now, yeah? so I play the cold snap. I play cold snap, take puzzle and see. Complicated. Yeah, very complicated turn. Because uh, my gut feeling is that I should probably distill curse now. At the same time, distill curse now, waste block here, waste block here, waste block here. But all these would be better and know whether I should play this loop or not. Uh, yes, we did not buy Fozo 9 in this run. <laughs> we bought Sunder and removed Pain over the Fozo 9. And maybe I get a punish for it here. We never die turn 2 though, so at least there's that. Yeah, is it good to just ignore Rikaku and play loop now? Uh, for Black on the other hand, Rikaku is 6, but only if we don't play like Recursion or Algorithm or whatever. And of course, after that, we can duplicate the loop with the Echo Form, but it's not needed, yeah? Single loop plus play is good enough. Um, once you get our focus down. 
and the echo forms are played. Am I even playing this hologram? I am, right? So hollow co snap. Um, if I don't play the recursion, I'm losing uh, HP to meet up death. Otherwise, I can play recursion, double ratio dagger, or single ratio dagger, and the chill, and just not play the loop. And next turn, maybe we can take our recalcum one time, blocking twelve. And if I block twelve, I never die turn two. I can die turn three easily, but I never die turn two. Of course, saving hologram in hand is uh, a thought as well, yeah, for some some glacier. But mostly just glacier. Like there's nothing else that's super valuable to hologram later. And hologramming now does not waste energy and set up one more frost orb for potential defect draw next turn. Yeah, I should holo coast now. I should definitely play holo coast now. But the big question here is whether I recursion or not. Like right now. Yeah, I don't think potion happened this turn. Have a recursion now. I block five, so I gain uh, two more cards play for free, which would be ritual dagger and chill, and not double dagger. Yeah, it's ritual dagger and chill. So I had three frost off, and I'm still at full uh, fifty three HP. I can also play loop and chill, but. Generally, I don't actually care about playing this loop now. Yeah, let's just recursion ritual dagger with you. Yeah? Uh, we see we're using small dagger or big dagger. It actually does not matter at all, I don't think. But if the heart is vulnerable, it means sell, which is not uh, a tall order because it has two artifacts. And that's the only artifact trip we have. Then, um, if the heart is vulnerable, then double dagger is maxing out regardless. Otherwise, we can lose maybe 20 damage later, but we also gain 105, yeah, uh, wait, 36, and the other one is 46, so we also gain 10 right now. Maybe if we lose 20 later, we gain 10 immediately, if we play dagger, uh, the, the big dagger. Which honestly is probably the line. Yeah, and play a chill, yeah, over the loop. Let open the damage a little bit as well. I can still play the loop on energy here, but I don't even think it's uh, super good or important to play. Could be dumb though, because if we face a big hit next on a brick, I will distill chaos, and then the loop. Yeah, I guess the loop block also allow me to play two other cards, um, and then still take a recalcum. No, actually, not playing this is stupid. Yeah, yeah, I should play this, <laughs> right? Of course. Because I can act, it's, it's not even just like I. Uh, because here's the thing, yeah? If I play O block cast next turn, then the loop block is positive, because our recalcum never is taken. If I do not play block cast, then the loop is still positive, because then I block two bit of that instances, and then I still take my recalcum anyway. So it's just good to play, unless you want to loop it later, but I don't really care about looping this. Yeah, make it first. I think says, yeah, yeah, then we uh, distill chaos. That's the point, no? Uh, chaos now. Defract first and then distill chaos is the thing. Or I can def um, defract, aggregate, rebound, cool headed, and then distill chaos. Because then I draw into the cool. I play another cool headed, basically. That seems quite, quite a strong turn, right? Play defract, play aggregate, play rebound, cool headed, and then potion. That seems quite a strong turn. Yeah, now we potion. Um, probably not a huge problem like this. And here you see, yeah, we use our thing 
Holy, and now Echo Farm is in play. I just need to not die next turn and then we are kind of okay. Because once again, yeah, we play this and we play this and now Ori Calcum is working. And we do not die this turn. So Echo Farm is in play now. We now have Pyramid. Um, most powers are in play. We still have two scaling powers and Echo Farm is in play. Well, Mushroom, yeah. Because uh, you see, we have 11. And Mushroom changed the attack just now from 67 to 56. That is 11 HP. That was well and good. And now, of course, this turn we full block because Mushroom once again block 15 here. And you want to draw these next turn because drawing them right now in order to have this defract in my hand next turn is pretty cool, you know. At least I think that's pretty cool. And we make all the headspace. I will have a void later on, but I don't really care. And now the loop is in play. Uh, double charge battery does not matter. And next time I have double out with him to full block. No matter what hit it is. Wow. Yeah, on floor 48. Yeah, and I see one of the block 19 in my hand right now. <laughs> is that kind of good? Also, uh, I think I want to do this. Uh, get back the hollow. Not drawing the powers yet, a little bit annoying, but it's fine. Yeah, here's a double defract that we can do. So how do I do this? Um... Next on double algo is already full block 60, yeah? So I can just play Glacier now, but I think I want to recycle a bit. So we... how do I do this? Recycle Sunder? Recycle Sunder. Uh, rebound the Hologram. Hologram the... Recycle. Play the Glacier full block this turn, and then recycle the wound. Next turn I can double Algo, turn after I can double Capacitor, and we can see a hologram back Glacier to the field, force third cycle, force cycle. And that is like very easy afterwards. <laughs> yeah, let's do that, right? So recycle Sunder. Inbound the hologram. Get back to recycle. Play the glacier and recycle the wood. Yeah. Full block. In fact, I can save this for third cycle as well, and we can do double hologram right now to get back recycle. Uh, quadrant even, which is probably the better line. Let's keep recycling. Next turn, double capacitor. Even if it's not green, no problem. So no no, we block 4 cycle. If you can block 4 cycle, don't worry. We have uh, Blizzard coming in, we have Recycle coming in. 
At some point, we deal damage extremely fast. It's just that we, I want to block four Psycho and then we will win. Don't worry. Don't worry. Without the Blizzard, I would actually be very scared. Uh, but at the same time, without Blizzard, I could never recycle my Thunder. <laughs> but we do have a Blizzard. So don't worry about that. It's fine. We have a Void, but that's no problem. It is three now, yeah? I should make hand space because I want to draw into my recycle quickly. I want to upgrade hologram or so, so maybe I just play this line. <laughs> okay, so double recycle will happen here. Yeah, double recycling happen here. Recycle, strike, recycle. Ah, maybe that was dumb. Maybe that was dumb. I will turn. No, no. I will turn. Four cycle can still happen. One twenty is not so easy to block. Or we can use this now just to exhaust it because uh, after this turn we have. A bunch of frost in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thirty-six. Yeah, the nine. The uh, actually funny thing is that we don't actually have anything to really recycle this hand. I mean, I can burn a cold snap, but on the other hand, I can also just snap a beam cell here instead, and then get perma von down. And maybe that's better, you know. Double beam cell, and then we deal damage. Yeah, that's probably even stronger. Double beam cell now. And then hologram the beam cell back. Next to double beam cell again. And then we deal damage over 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7. 56, 56, uh, 67, 67. Yeah, that is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's full block. I will hold on. Yeah, no need, no need. I want to, but I don't wait for it forever. Yeah, this blizzard is 100 damage, 200. And we have another. <laughs> You're worried about damage, yeah? That's what I'm saying. Like, with this kind of deck, I'm not scared. Just block four cycle and then we win. No problem. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, the 72. With this block, we never die to 120. So I can rebound the blizzard. And it's completely safe. Yeah. Bam. <laughs> no problem. Even 131st is full blocks. Otherwise, just double blizzard, 200 damage. And next turn is either dead or we can full block still, no problem. Yeah, easy, right? And no matter what this turn, we are okay, yeah? because it's full blocks. If we want to, but I also think it's dead. It is dead. <laughs> if it's dead, I would kill it. Our term sucks. <laughs> Our term sucks. <laughs> also, uh, very, very important thing. Um, I 
actually maybe it's not that important because it could have double defrag instead. <laughs> because the the thing I'm saying is that I used my dual in the speed and shield fight to preserve tail HP. But with the draw that we had, we could have just looped the defrag and it does roughly the same thing. And we will not die. We will go very low, lower than 11. But we will not die. So at the end of the day, it was not needed to loop in the spear and shield. But it was still a good play. Yeah, it was still a good play. Actually, yeah, super close, yeah? Because we don't have active draw in our deck. So first cycle spear and shield, first cycle heart is terrifying if we draw badly. Without gambler's brew. And against spear and shield, yes, we bottom deck our deck and bad things happen. It is scary, but it's okay. And mushroom covers and... <laughs> The bone. By the way, we live on 11 in this fight, so without this being the bone, uh, probably in the spear and shield, we also die. Yeah, rest of the end, rack 3, upwinding at the start of rack 4. I. Uh, playing. Basically, the entire end game, I think, is uh, super good. Because uh, this one, I, I, I would say that you get tricked into thinking this one is really, really powerful easily. Because you can see before that, I mean, the bone just heals you every single fight. And then you have Pyramid, which will you burst everything down easily. And nothing, nothing in Act 3 can touch you, uh, even like the Transient or whatever. Retomancer, no problem. It's very easy for the effect to trick you into thinking that. But, I mean, I know. I know that this Act 4 is uh, annoying as hell. <laughs> yeah, I know this Act 4 is annoying as hell. Hey, I like this entire endgame. I think it's like really, really good. Like paying attention to danger, all the close calls, working out in our favor. Not in the sense that we draw well. If we draw, actually we draw well, the spear and shield is zero damage because the violence is drawn early. But even in the hard fight, you can see Like, what is the... Is the violence a bad thing or not? Because I feel like drawing the violence in the spot we did was very good. And yeah, if violence drawn early and spear and shield, we actually just kill them instantly without even taking damage. And then that's just a good buy. This didn't end, didn't end up playing, which is slightly sad, but it does give me full security, of course, because I know no matter what, I can full block with double algo. And it's also just positive, yeah? It's, it's just a positive draw. <laughs> To be fair though, we are one card draw away from, we are part away from dagger big. So uh, if you do not have algorithm in your deck and the draw the everything else is the same, you would draw ritual dagger plus and turn, uh, the big dagger and turn two and then you instantly kill the, uh, the spear. <laughs> uh, to be fair, that was true. So that would have saved, uh, if the draw was exactly the same like that, it would have saved. We would be at 58, right? Instead of 53. So we'll say 5. Because uh, we still need to loop part, yeah? If we draw into Big Dagger, we still need to loop the Big Dagger, otherwise it doesn't die. So, uh, yeah. One brick in here, even if it quote unquote bricks the most important card in our deck, the HP loss is only 5. And of course, that's a mega hindsight, because the chance of that to happen is like, super low. And even then, it only does 5 HP. And the hard fight, uh, having this is good. How often are also 100% frost? Pretty rare. Yeah, I would say pretty rare. Because it's not too super easy to deal damage without any dark or lightning. And even if I try to go infinite, I, sometimes you want plasma, sometimes you still need dark early game to cover, sometimes you don't remove all your lightning. <laughs> we actually remove all our lightning this run. And losers when we are Blizzard? Uh, probably, yes. I mean, the hard fight would be a lot more complicated with a Blizzard, like for sure. Spear and Shield fight would be the same. Most of actually would be the same, but the hard fight in particular would be very complicated. Because I cannot just block 4 cycle and then win. Like, yeah, in, in this fight, I know for sure if I can block 4 cycle, I will always win. But without the blizzard in the deck, I would need to play Sunder here and there. I need to apply more vulnerable here and there. And then it will still be at around 300 HP or so. Maybe less. When we enter 4th cycle. 
So suddenly now we have a race because once you get to fifth cycle, we always die if it's a multi hit. So now you have like three turns or so to deal um, 300 damage, which is uh, pretty difficult. Yeah, we probably would have needed to wait for Rich Dagger, but then first cycle you lose more HP, so it's pretty scary. And also, of course, uh, the Rich Dagger being stuck in hand is not good either. Yeah? So, Tiny House Squad wins again. Honestly, though, my experience with Tiny House Squad and the effects so far every single time is like this. Act 1, we are, we are chilling. Like, Act 1, we are actually super strong. And then somehow the run gets super complicated and I can die uh, multiple times like everywhere. And then I win. <laughs> Tiny House just a struggle, Relic, apparently. We're gonna call this one a struggle per se because we have this relic, but um, it needs to. We need to make pretty good decision. I should today probably not. I should also I don't want to throw. So watch a run would need to be played properly as well. So uh, unfortunately, yeah, the fact that mm, both the effects trick and the watcher trick are quite big means that uh, whenever we get to this portion <laughs> and the defect run is long, you probably get on run per day. And it's fine, one another day, uh, not too bad. I also take like kind of a break for myself. What did we have from the thing? The pair, the shuriken, that opener. So Kursky into ignoring chess, like maybe not getting this pair right here. Could have been bad. Yeah, could have been bad. Actually, no, no, no. With the, we would actually die right, without the pair. If everything else is equal. And I do not think our cutting changes a single time, yeah? Because, just because we don't have uh, the curse key. Because the thing, we live on 11 here. But uh, if we have not the 10, if we lose its 10 max HP, our mid range is lower. So we lose even extra from that. And that is worth more than 11 HP here. Uh, not to mention, you have a freaking curse, yeah? Uh, you pick this curse here right here, you just have a curse and you have no actual boost. Compared to the server caller and the path we took. But just look at this freaking path, server caller and act 2. Fight, 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 elite, fight, 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 elite, fight, fight. <laughs> wow. And act 3, server caller path, yeah? Fight, fight, elite, fight, elite, fight, 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 fight. I'm slightly curious though, like this run. Uh, maybe I can test it out right, right now. Copy the seed, change profile. Oh, by the way, minus seven um, transform two. Yeah, this is literally what I'm check about to check. And you see my point where I say max HP on defect actually matters late game. Right, right here. <laughs> But I'm slightly curious like, what a Chanson 2 would be. Because um, right now my mental ranking is a Chanson 2. If the squad is playable, Chanson 2 is just squads. Doesn't matter what the penalty is. Because this penalty is minus uh, max HP. Alright, Chanson 2 is my defense. Okay, fine. Chanson 2 is OP, guys. Move on. Okay, Chanson 2 is OP, move on. <laughs> but yeah, that's a mega high roll, so... Uh, whatever. <laughs> I mean, I did say it, right? If we Chanson 2 and we high roll, then it's better. <laughs> that is a mega high roll. Oh, it's fine. It's, apparently it's free if you Chanson 2. <laughs> You don't have your pyramid, so I don't know. Like you, maybe you still don't see Catro, and now you don't have your pyramid. How's your chance to do on average? Yeah, tough question to ask, like for sure. I would say on average it's probably the best on. Uh... Yeah, on average it's probably. I mean, ignore Watcher, yeah. On average it should be the best on Sidon. 
So ranking should still be silent defect in day nine cloud. How much do I random ray on defect? It's basically boss squad but lower variance. Yeah, the number of hits, the number of bricks, roughly the same distribution. It's just that your highs are lower, but your lows are also higher. Like your highest row is like by a or whatever. That does not compete with P-Box with mid swap. But your lowest row is also on the maybe meteor strike thunder strike. <laughs> that does not compete with crown. But the distribution is roughly the same. So it's about yeah whether you can mitigate the variance or not. Um with icon passing. Meteor strike icon, yeah yeah of course. Meteor strike also gives you uh 30% of the time you see Sneko and suddenly your meteor strike is stopping a brick at all. And when you have meteor strike and frost zero, yeah? I would say meteor strike and frost zero is underestimated a little bit. Not by that much, but a little bit. Yeah, people uh, say that meteor uh, frost zero is so freaking bad because it's just a curse. Yeah, it's a curse. But it's a curse with so uh, such an insane payoff that you can't spend your entire run to build around and then suddenly it carries you. And how much does this cost you cost you next one really? Maybe one upgrade? Could be one elite sometimes, but usually only one upgrade. Because you can rest instead. And 30% of the time you roll to snack core yeah, and everything's good. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, something about run resume is slightly annoying is I cannot resume on floor zero. So whenever I want to test a different Neo bonus, I need to actually copy the seed. <laughs> Otherwise, on floor 1, if I want to check again, I can go here. But I cannot go to floor 0. Thanks for watching guys as always, and see you.